Hey, how are we doing, guys? Are we good? I still haven't. <laughs> I completely forgot to get YouTube chat on on stream. Um, <laughs> so you'll have to forgive me. I am an idiot. But that's okay. Chat replays on, so it stores the replay next to the video if you go back and watch the VOD. So hello, hello, future VOD watchers. How are you doing? And hello, everybody who's here. Let's just get this started. Ah, there we go. Get some nice performance enhancing diet coat going. So who we got today? We've got Kanehurst Knight. How you doing? Sukovat, Rebel Wolf, and... 16? Do I just call you 16? XV? But how you doing? Thanks for coming in, guys. Um, literally midnight here. Yeah, best time. You gotta, you gotta have spooky streams in the middle of the night. Um, hey, Salt, how you doing? Yeah, back on YouTube again. I think this is the second, second YouTube stream. Keen to be back. Really had fun last time. Um, it went better than I expected. Because, you, you know, when, you, when you're streaming on a new platform, usually there's like, everybody says, you know, when you move over to a new platform, even if the platform is better, you always get a big hit in like in viewers and numbers and whatever. But I think we did, did pretty well last time. And, you know, you guys seem to enjoy me being doing a stream here. And I, you know, there's a whole bunch of new people that I, I don't usually come to my stream. So I thought, you know, I'll, I'll keep, keep going. Hey, Lepidopterus. But yeah. Cholerophobia, fear of clowns. Oh no. Why are you afraid of clowns? They're just funny little guys. You know, they're, they're, honking, they're honking noses and they're honking feet. And their vast array of knives and, and poisons and body parts beneath their, beneath their trailer. I don't know why you wouldn't like, why you wouldn't like clowns. Um, but yeah, so yeah, pretty, pretty happy to be back. Um, yeah, so we've got a few things today. Um, got a few things today. So this stream, so after this stream, right, what we're going to do is YouTube has this feature and I've never, I've never used it before. So I don't know if it's going to work properly. <laughs> so this is going to be an ex a bit of an experiment, but at the end of this stream, what we're going to do is we're going to raid into a video. So if, if you're on Twitch, you'll know this feature. It's where at the end of your stream, you basically, you push all of your viewers into somebody else's stream. And all you, you have to do, the viewers don't have to do anything. They just sit there and like this, 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 the stream refreshes and like you're in somebody else's stream. And, you know, it's a good way to, to introduce your viewers to other people that you think are cool. You know, you want to show off your friends, that sort of stuff. Um... And YouTube has a similar feature, but it's being YouTube. They have the same feature, but it's really awkward. So the way it works in this one is, I actually don't know how you can raid other streams. Um, and, and we're not knowing that today anyway. We're raiding a premiere of my next video is coming out after this stream. So in, how long is it? So this stream is going to go, the, the, the issue is this stream has to end at a specific time. So it's, it's uh, in three hours. Oh shit, wait, hang on. YouTube is using, only some of Australia is on, um, oh God, it's using daylight savings time and I'm not on daylight savings time. Oh Jesus, good thing I checked. Um, <laughs> that would have premiered an hour before this stream ended. Jesus, okay. <laughs> Hang on, let me check my time zone. <laughs> Wait, hang on. YouTube's being funny here. I'll keep an eye on it during the video. D while we're streaming, I'll keep an eye on it. Because it, it says it starts in two hours, but then it's like, no, no, it's actually three hours. And it's like, what? Anyway. Anyway, we'll figure it out. Um... Thank you. 
Um, and and if, if we fuck it up, uh, who cares, right? It's really hot here today, but my aircon keeps fucking up. One second. Um, and then after that, so that goes, the video goes for about 16, 17 minutes, I think. And then after that, what we've got is um, movie night in the Discord. We're watching Terrifier 2 this time. And the Discord link is just see the pinned comment at the top of chat. If you click on that, you'll see the, the Discord link in there. But yeah, so it should be a fun day today. Um, and of course, we're playing Termina in the meantime, which is always, always a real blast. Um, but yeah. Mel, I was so confused when you said you were streaming and I checked Twitch and you weren't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Never watched a stream on YouTube. Well, there's, so there's a lot of people that only watch streams on Twitch. Some people that only watch streams on YouTube. So I thought, you know, I'd add in one of these streams a week and just see if people like it. And people have been liking it so far. You know, if it ends up people don't, you know, maybe it was a shiny toy syndrome, right? And people just wanted to check it out. And if nobody shows up today, then, you know, maybe we'll just go keep going on Twitch. But just experimenting, seeing what works, seeing what doesn't, seeing what people want to see. Because at the end of the day, it's, it's what you guys want. And if I'm doing something that you guys don't want, then I'm just going to stop doing it. <laughs> Season is final boss to a special AOE attack is essential oils. Oh no. She nukes all your videos. If you if you die to Susan in Termina, it connects to the internet and it deletes all of your YouTube videos. <laughs> hey, bisexual imp man. Uh why not just change the time the video premieres if you want to stream longer? That's a very good point, Salt. And I didn't think of that. See, this is why I need you guys, because I'm I'm actually kind of an idiot. So <laughs> But lucky with today, I gotta to pick up my outfit for an interview tour. Oh yeah, yeah. Good luck with that, by the way. Yeah, yeah. If um, if you guys just want to lurk and you you don't you can't you don't want to chat, you can't chat. That's perfectly fine. We love lurkers here. If you need to leave early, if you need to come late, that's perfectly fine. Don't don't ever worry about about uh, you know, any of that. I do I do keep tabs of you all, and I do have a spreadsheet, so I do I do know who is more dedicated. But don't worry, I won't let it I won't let it color. Color how I think of you guys, so. Ah. Do you like how on YouTube we have profile pictures? That's true, yeah. I just lost one. What did you lose? And how you doing, Apple? All right, should we get started? I'll, I'll... yeah, we should get started. We should get started. Let me see. We're all set up, right? Should be set up. I'm a professional streamer after all. I never make mistakes on my stream. Here we go. This last 1.5 hours of progress as Marina on day one due to blindness. <laughs> I think I think I've lost progress thanks to the Inquisitor's blindness like three times. It's it's one of those enemies that you just shouldn't fight because there's there's no reason to fight it. And it can just completely ruin a run. So it's just, just don't bother. And they're slow. You can just run past them, which is good. But I've learned that the hard way. Just ignore, just ignore them. <laughs> Every, yeah, everybody press F. Everybody press F. Okay. Let's see. Um, also, I changed the settings in the stream now. So the, um, the latency should be a lot better. So we should actually be able to talk properly now. Last time there was a, a, a big delay. I think there's a big delay on YouTube no matter what you do compared to like Twitch. Um, but I think it's a lot better. You know what? Let's, let's try it out, actually. Let's try it out. I'm going to say something and you guys respond. Okay. Ready? Respond now. Four, five, six. Six seconds. That's a lot better than last time. Last time it was like 15 seconds. Okay. Some of you guys are kind of slow. Maybe we should work on your reaction times a bit. <laughs> no, no, there's a lot of there's a lot of delay between like, you know, your own personal servers and and how YouTube what YouTube thinks about you that partic particular day. So <laughs> Stream isn't slow as your brain. <laughs> it could it honestly could be. <laughs> 
Should I straighten my hair tomorrow or leave it with my naturally wavy curly nonsense? Seems more like a bad bitch-esque equal. <laughs> um, well, you, you know, the usual go-to for interviews is just to look as, look as professional and as sharp as possible. And then when you get the job, that's when you like, that's when you just, you know, let it all hang out. Don't worry about it. Because you're, you're locked in then. You're done. You don't have to worry. Um, is this, this, this safe, right? Do I, do I even have another Karen? I don't think I do, no. Here we go. So we're going Karen. That's right. This is day one Karen ending. That's what we're, what, that's what we're aiming for. So next is getting... Uh, what are we doing next? I've forgotten. Probably doesn't help that you're quite actually on the opposite side of the world. That's what I, that's what I, every once in a while, I'll be like, you know what's kind of weird? I'm, I'm literally on the other side of the world to most people in this chat, right? And most of my friends are all in like America, Europe, that sort of stuff. Um, it takes less than six seconds for this voice and video to reach you and, and for you to see it and then respond to me. Like, that's insane. That's just incomprehensible. People talk about technology that would fry the brain of medieval peasants. This is definitely one of them. It's like, what? You can, you can speak to somebody literally thousands and thousands and thousands of kilometers away. And they can respond. Not only just, not only just respond with a message, but respond with video and sound. High quality video and sound in less than six seconds. It's just, it's insane. Never actually seen anyone play Karen. Yeah, I don't think anybody does play Karen. They just like her a lot. I think this might actually be the first playthrough anyone's ever done with Karen. Have you cleared the orphanage yet or the church? I don't think so. I don't remember, actually. Let's look. Let's see. What? Um... Oh, I have. I've... I guess I have done the orphanage. Hunger is the apartment. So I have the apartments and the orphanage. So I guess it's, it's really quiet. Hang on. How's, how's the sound for you guys, by the way? It's really quiet for me. This is loud enough. Can we go a bit louder? Can we get much higher? So high. Is this guy a lifetime? He is. I don't, I'm going to kill this guy because he's fucking annoying. I'm going to kill this guy too. Hey, buddy. New peasants were difficult at witchcraft. Start a religion with the internet as a god. Well, that's basically what this game is about, isn't it? Why do I have Levi again? Skills talk. And yeah, we could probably just kill this guy, right? Cool. Bit soft. Might turn it up just a smidge then. Just a smidge. There we go. A couple of pieces of technology that when they came out, I thought, oh, we're in the future now. I think one of those was most amazed by was 3D printing. Yeah. I think it's funny. Um, there's this thing called priming. Oh, ho, ho. what did Levi almost die from that? Jesus. There's this thing called priming, cultural priming. There might be another word for it. Where you'll you'll see a piece of technology in in sci-fi and and media before it's actually in real life. And companies do this or it's, it's not even just technology, right? Where am I going? Where am I going? Hang on, let me just finish this thought. It's not even just technology. Um, and what why they do it is so they help bring that technology around. Um, the internet was inspired by, amongst other things, one book called Snow Crash, where they basically had something that was basically like the internet um, before it even happened. Maybe I'm getting... Maybe I'm thinking a second life. There's a book with, with Second Life in it before Second Life, I think before the internet was even a major thing. And then somebody went and made Second Life and then he actually works at Playoff now, which is funny. Um, but Disney does priming with their media. Before, in the run-up to Finding Nemo on the Disney Channel, they would run, you know how at the end of shows they would have like quick little fun facts for kids? For months before... Um, Finding Nemo came out. They ran ads. They ran those little fun facts all about fish. 
so kids are excited about fish. And then Finding Nemo comes out, and all the kids are like, hey, I like fish. We'll go watch that. Um, I'm sure you can imagine how it can be used for more insidious ends than just making people watch a movie, but I'll leave that to your imagination. Lost my arms in my playthrough, and the only party member is Olivia. Together we make one whole person. Oh, no. <laughs> you think Bobby's a harder to understand when they spin? Probably, actually. It does say their voice is all distorted. Why do I even have Levi? Am I, did I keep him to sacrifice him? I think I did. Anyway. Actually, do I have light blue vial? Yeah, we'll use a light blue vial on him because he's really low. So. Um, I'm going to be fine. Actually, I'll, I'll feed Osar because he's, he's kind of hungry. Bop, bop, bop. I'll give him moldy bread. There we go. All right, we can run. <laughs> I've been playing... I've been playing Fear and Hunger 1 and I, and I forget there's like all these features in 2. <laughs> Hell yeah, clutch pinecone pig. The pinecone pig animation is broken in this playthrough and I... Wait, she just, does Susan have steel? I don't have steel. Yeah, for some reason in this playthrough the pinecone pig animation is broken and I don't know why. Some things will just break in, in a playthrough and they just won't come back. And there's, I don't, you know, I think RPG Maker is just sort of weird. But, you know, it's funny. Open it. I've got four coins. Uh, Yeah, why not? Blob, let's go. Find an iron spear. Thank you for being the most useless weapon. Lucky. Oh, I found another lucky coin. Sick. I want to know why the guys run like this. So you've got Abella there with her big swinging arms because she's like, you know, an ogre. But then you've got like Osar and Levi who just don't move their arms at all. I guess Levi doesn't because he's like sort of canonically all weird and anxiety ridden and stuff. But she's not, she's not stuck. I guess she is. Food. Moldy bread. Here we go. Weird to see the fog cleared up. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a mod. Um, it's just better for streaming, I think, to have the have it a bit nicer and clearer. I mean, it does. Oh, she does do that, doesn't she? That's a nice animation. I thought she was like lifting. You know what? We're just gonna we're just gonna attack this guy. We're not gonna talk him out of it. I don't really need to. Here we go. Can't even imagine running with my hands in my pockets. Yeah, I love Karen's animation. Just never take your hands out of her pockets. Ow. Bobby's are fast. There we go. It is a great game. How you doing, delicious babe? <laughs> what a great name. Die already. Die already. Oh my god. Okay, well, let's just wail on his head now. Are my weapons really that bad? They must be. Search, small key, beat him. I feel like it used to be where bobbies would instantly get back up if you tried to search them. But I feel like maybe it's been changed a bit because you can, if you do it quickly enough, they don't get back up instantly, so. So I don't know if that's like a, a, a bug or a glitch or something like that. Karen runs with her arms in her pockets, which is a terrible idea. She falls, she's face planting and eating the curb. Yeah. Bear trap, nice. Watching someone speak from a TV screen on a laptop screen. <laughs> um, maybe I have gone to the church. <laughs> they instantly get up if you try to saw their heads. Okay. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Maybe for everything else, there's like a short timer. Any you know, no any other games like Fear and Hunger? Um, I've heard of a couple, but I haven't played them. Um, 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 let me think, let me think, let me think. Okay, I haven't been down here. Oh, right, we were doing Moonless. Yes, that's right. Now I recall. Right. 
that's that's where we ended at. We're doing moonless. Okay. So no, I haven't done church yet, but that was intentional. So let's go do moonless. Should be fun. Wonder why they're called bobbies. That's the um the English word for as in from England. And I suppose from Europe as well. Um, that is the name for their police. Cool. Break his leg, break his leg. God damn it, we're not breaking his leg, are we? Ow. Oh, missed. Thank you. Okay. Oh, that's why Levi's doing like no damage because he's, he's all drugged up. Duh. With wrench, 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 wrench. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I'm out of practice with this game. Here you go. Does it mean it's technically correct to call them cops? Ah, uh, it's it's basically like the same idea as cop, right? Oh, that did a lot of damage. Floppy arm is tensing up. You guard. You attack the back leg, please. Let's just take this fucking thing out. There's also an option to stun the Bobby with torque. He's self rotating his head. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was doing, but I thought I might be able to kill them faster if I just didn't bother doing that, but nope. Attack his head, attack his head, attack his head, attack his head. Okay, we have eight attacks on his head in this turn. We'll kill him. <laughs> Op. Oi, oppers. Search seven armor and leg. Why do they carry seven arms and legs? That's weird. Maybe some flailing around. Had this urge to give him a lollipop. I feel like he'd enjoy it. You know what? They probably would. Lavender, nice. Has anybody pointed out the connection between neighbors and sulfur yet? They have the same tongue, I just realized. I don't think it sounds like someone messing around on the cutting board. <laughs> A lot of the music in these games is really interesting. I was going through the OST for 1 and 2 yesterday, and there's some really interesting tracks on there. Bear trap. They got like an anteater head, so I don't know about a lollipop, but what about one of those really long candies? I think that'd be funny to give to them. Bottle of beer, mushroom stew. Is everybody, everybody all right? Everyone's mind's kind of a bit low, isn't it? Um, let's get out some beer. We're going to have some beers in the sewers with the boys. The dream. Can you imagine? Just going down to the sewers with your boys and cracking a few cold ones. Okay, how do we do this again? Um, is it... I think it's this one. I think. No, it's probably this one. And this one, I think. Let's have a look. Here we go. Nope. No. Wait. 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 I've I've complete I've completely forgotten how to do this. Yes, we go. We switch this one. This one, and I think this is right. Yeah. So ashamed. I bought a nice new headset on on sale, but the Kavit is the headset is League of Legends themed. Oh no! <laughs> okay. Now we push that there. Go down here. I I prefer the ladders in Inferior Hunger 1, I think. They're just a lot faster to use. I think you could still... You could just copy the same method that they do in Inferior Hunger 1 because it still changes your sprite and everything. It, you know, it makes you face a different direction while you use it. But it's just nicer because you don't have to, like, stop and interact with it and then you're slowed right down and, and what have you. I think this is all we need to do now. Hmm. 
<laughs> yeah, up here. Ba, 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 ba. Boop, boop. This, there we go. And then we go back down. <laughs> I think Karen keeps her hand in her pocket because that way you don't realize she's got a gun. Because she's always packing. Then we go. Boop, boop. Splish. She's reaching. <laughs> How you doing, Sajiro? Are you at the point where spoilers are not allowed or can we talk about anything? Uh, yeah, feel free to talk about anything. I finished the game. I've gotten every ending. I haven't gotten every, what is it, B ending with each character yet. So that's the only thing I prefer you not to talk about is like the ending slides and what, what people do after the festival. Everything else is free game. I, I'm pretty sure I know everything else at this point, so. Her pockets are very deep, you see. Does that mean Dan has one ton? No. Yeah, he's he's always oh, reaching all right. You don't want to know for what though. Hey, Coco Puff, how you doing? Good to see you. Oh shit, it's green hue down here. That's not good. It's cold down here. Hey, Ratto. You could probably catch that rat, couldn't you? Oh god. Penny bun. Hang on, is this a sulfur statue? I wonder. Is this like a, a creature holding heads? What does it have? Is it just like weird, weird hands? Hmm. Much to think about. Much to think about. Ba -ba 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 do you think August is uh, Raggy's descendant or is Rag or Rag's descendant? Is that something you include in the video releasing tonight? No, no. The video I'm releasing tonight is just like an introduction to the lore. So it's like, it's, it's basically the most basic stuff just to get everybody on the same level. Because as I've, I've been talking to people and some people don't like know, some people haven't like, like this is just sort of, like, this is the base stuff you need to know before we can start talking about the cool stuff. It's like, I want to go, I want to make a video about sulfur. But unless you understand the old gods, the new gods, all mere, what happened in the dungeon, all this stuff, you can't really talk about sulfur because people will just be confused. Um, so this is sort of like, this is, this is sort of the base level of stuff. And then we can build on there with later videos. Um, so all like cool little intricate stuff like that will definitely happen like down the line, but not in this one. So, you know, look, everybody who's like in this chat will probably know 90% of what's in there. Um, but that's sort of the point of the video is to say like, well, you know, everybody knows most of it, but most people don't know all of it. So the conversation needs a base level. <clears throat> um, I believe that August is most likely Ragnvalda's descendant and not him directly. Um, I mean, I think it'll be... I, I would need to talk to him with mind reading to, to be able to definitely say, but it feels like he's not... He, like he's, he's very competent, but I don't think he's... He's as competent as as if Ragnvalda was this was still alive, you know. But he could be, you know. We'll see. Monologue with the moon under the sulfur sun, gods that dance in the night. Each one of those each one of those statements is um is uh an impossibility because. You don't, you can't monologue with something. You can monologue at something, but you can't monologue with something. But the moon is, is, is in your head anyway. So you, you technically can. Under the sulfur sun, sulfur is underneath us. So we're not under the sulfur sun at all, but the festival is under the threat of the sulfur sun. And gods that dance in the night, I was thinking about this and I think it refers to the fact that 
the gods are bathed in the green hue, so they're never technically in nighttime. But it's sort of wrapped up in the fact that um, I, I suspect it also refers to the contestants themselves running around the festival, but I'll need to think about, about that one a bit more. That statue resembles Pazuzu, Babylonian demon. Interesting. Demons were before Olmir, right? Nashra enslaved one, and he was a Grogoroth follower. Yeah, so there are weird creatures like that running around. Like, um, like the Sergal is basically one of those weird creatures that we will probably consider a demon, but it really seems like Preheval was a site of sulfur worship. They worship a weird god that we're not really clear about what it is. And that might be that might be part of that, so. My ready says that Moonless and August consider each other siblings, right? I wonder if Rag would consider Moonless as siblings since they go through the dungeon together. Look, that's that's the thing. It could be It could be the case that, you know, you're it's it's a brotherhood forged going through trials, especially since Rag and Valda is a warrior and they had that concept. But it also could be that August was raised with Moonless around. So it's like, it's really, it, there's everything I've seen has been like, ah, uh, right on the line. So it's, I, I honestly think we'll probably have to wait until we get um, August as playable to find out what the fuck his deal is. <laughs> August is a fairy, yeah. How you doing, Scoopy? Do you know what the deal with Vinland is in Fear and Hunger? A little bit. We simply don't know much about it. Um, it is a cursed continent. It seems like... It seems like it's just a, a continent of nightmares that no humans have ever settled. As far as we know, no humans have settled there. Um, it could be filled with beasts and, like, uh, circles and stuff, but um, as far as we know, there's no civilization there. I do know that um, Vinland as a setting for Fear and Hunger 3 is very unlikely. Uh, Mira, Mira said that in, in the Discord the other day. He's like, yeah, Vinland will probably not be as the setting of Fear and Hunger 3. Um, just because the games rely on like old ruins and old lore and lots of, lots of history there. And it doesn't have any history because humans just haven't been there. So wasn't sure if there's more other than that it's cursed. Um, yeah, it, it's definitely related to the God realms and traveling between realms because that's where they find the cube of the depths, which allow people to, um, to travel to the to uh 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 uh, uh Mahab. So I think Orange hinting's Fear and Hunger 3 was Sulfur God ending, because God of Fear and Hunger from OG game became canon in Termina. Well, most of the endings became canon. Um all the all the difficult most of the difficult endings are. As far as I'm aware, every S ending is canon. Um from what I've heard, I I'd need to go through and, and play them all properly and and like, you know, see what happened. But because, like, you know, Lagarde became Yellow King. Um, obviously, Fear and Hunger was born. But also, some like, Enki is, has lived forever, and he's not a new god. He lived forever, though. Well, he's, he, he lived until the current age, at least. He, he may be dead now, but he lived for a very long time, for hundreds of years, which is part of his ending. A sword from Kahara's ending shows up in this game. Um... I think that the only ones that aren't clear are Das and Ragenvelder. We're not sure if their endings are canon or not. But there was a lot that happened in, in one that's that's actually canon, so. I suspect one person canonically died because somebody had to take the girl down to... Yeah, exactly like you're saying. Yeah, Lepidop Lepidopterus. Someone had to take her down there. So it's either Das or Ragenvelder and... You know, it's. I'll have to play the game more to, to try and make a guess at who that would be, but I think it might have been Das. But, you know, we'll see. It could be. It could be someone just tossed her down the pit and said, see you later. <laughs> Go to Fear and Hunger, push humanity from medieval to industrial. Logic should push ham humanity from industrial to information age. Original concept from Tamina was set in the modern day. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, DJ. Uh, Dover DJ. Um, that seems to be what Orange is suggesting, is that 
fear and hunger caused the the enlightenment and humanity like you know went into the industrial age and the industrial revolution and up to the modern age and then something needs to happen to take it from the modern age to information age and that something is logic what nightmares are going to be birthed from logic we'll you know we'll find out but <laughs> I feel like Ragnar and Valda seems more canonical to me, but I don't know. Ragnar Valda seems more like the canon pro tag. Hmm. I don't think... Personally, I don't think the Berserker characters ever are really the pro, the canon pro tag when there's a team. It really does seem like Kahara is more more the canon. The canon pro tag. But it's it's sort of like... It's it's not really the... If you had to say this is a story about one person, it's a story about Lagarde. And, and fun fact, there's there's evidence to suggest that he was originally uh, going to be playable too in the files. So um, there's animations that only playable characters have that he has that show up in the files. So um, so if, if there is a protagonist of the story, it's Lagarde and he just goes fucking crazy. <laughs> Maybe someone other than the main group traveled with the girl to the bottom of the dungeon. Could be. You know, it, it may, you know, it could have been one of the new gods or something, but if that's the case, I don't think there's any evidence for it, so. Twink rights. <laughs> Dust doing it makes sense because of his connection with Pocket Cat. Uh, no, no, Dust from the first game, not, not Dan. Logic and Termina is basically Omnissiah from Warhammer 40k and Sea Consciousness from Stalker. Not Dust, Enki. Oh. Um maybe do, wait does Enki have a connection to pocket cat Enki seems a bit too self-serving to to put his life on the line to to give birth to the god of fear and hunger although he he would be really interested in seeing it but i don't think he would put himself in in danger for it <laughs> paris canonically the weakest of the main four characters in the first game he lost a fight to one of the prison guards but hard to believe he made it to the end of the girl well that's the the hero's journey is that the one who's weakest and the most self-serving puts his life on the line and comes out on top. And he has a he has a daughter too. He canonically has a family. So um So you know, he would have a soft spot for the girl. Thought Enki be thought en Enki became pocket cat. Uh no, I don't think so. Kara just missed three times in a row. <laughs> If anything, I'd always thought the enemies in the next game would be grotesque mi mixtures of flesh and machine, weird cyborg monsters and such. Yeah, that could be cool. But, well, you know, it depends on what role logic takes. Because, you know, in this one, fear and hunger isn't bad. It still likes humanity. And so we don't really see any... You know, there are, there are a couple of fear and hunger enemies, like the rats. But for the most part, it's like... We don't fight creatures of fear and hunger. Um... We we fight we fight twisted humans like you know moon scorch and stuff like that. So it could be like a completely new enemy entirely. Maybe may, you know maybe maybe it's sulfur versus logic, but who knows? I thought Lagarde very based off Griffith from Berserk, and the guts comparison in my head would be Ragnarvelda. That's true. I think that's a bit of a danger when it comes to looking at stuff through the lens of references, though, because the game isn't one to one just Berserk. Like yeah, Lagarde is definitely a, a Griffith XP, but there isn't really a proper guts one. I think he's SN in this canon. The rest of the cult bio was in this game. Gained knowledge from of a god without becoming a new god. Yeah, he definitely did. And he um Do I if I if I have the book I can show you. Here we go. Skin Bible, God of Fear and Hunger. Check this out. God of Fear and Hunger, there are popular texts that tell of a false god and a chosen human joining together in the darkest and wettest of dreams. The forgotten and long dormant god of the depths perished that night. Only an older god never truly perishes. In its stead, the god of fear and hunger planted its roots and started to grow her influence on the surface world. The scheming false deity had hoped her daughter would be the light of mankind. Only true darkness does not breed light. The god of fear and hunger was a pure child, a blank slate birthed in the darkest pits of human creation. That is where she grew. That is all she knew. She was a pure representation of fear and hunger, 
not spoiled by even a glimmer of hope. Mankind has seen its share of stagnation and suffering up to that point. To rise from those perilous pits, growing pains were necessary. Progress comes at a price. Fear motivated people while hunger kept them moving forward. People cherished their hardship and grew inspiration from it. They learned from it. What followed was advancement mankind had not seen since the Forgotten Ages. Dark fumes that rise from the pipes of modern cities are a direct consequence of this era. An era that became known as the Cruel Age. Um, Enki's still alive. He's talking about modern cities. Like, after the birth of fear and hunger until basically around now was the Cruel Age. So that's like 500 years or so, at least. Maybe more. So Enki's been alive for a very long time. Although, actually, something to note is that um, the church does edit does edit the skin bibles so that could actually be an edited version of it i don't have there is one you can find in the in the game i don't have it yet i haven't gotten to the, the point where you can actually pick it up but there's an edited version of the vanushka skin bible you can find separate from fear and hunger though imagine an actual berserk game that would, would have been so cool yeah you can you can basically play you can you can you can uh, you can role play as guts in um in Elden Ring, which is fun. <laughs> you know what? You know what would be fun actually. What would be really fun? You get that multiplayer mod. That's like what is it like open seamless multiplayer? And you you have one person as berserk and one person as as one person as berserk, one person as guts and one person as as Griffith. I think that'd be I think that'd be pretty sick. And then in the end, you have you have a PVP fight fight to decide. Who gets to ascend? Let's go. Hope in one of the endings, Marina becomes an ascended god because she is a demigod. What? Explain yourself right now. You must explain. Explain right now. Find a Stalhelm. Nice. Got Pennyburn. Stalhelm. Who needs a Stalhelm? What have you got? That might actually be better. Let's see. No, it's worse. Quip. Dragon's Dogma has intense guts. Oh, Dragon's Dogma is such a good game, though. Oh, man. I'm so keen. So keen for Dragon's Dogma 2. You get no idea. It's going to be so good, guys. It's going to be so good. Why does he have a ring of race? Oh, my God. Do I even have any spells on her? No, I don't. Uh, so I should take off. Wait, don't I have like two beetle stones? No, I don't. Um, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I need to, I need to change my equipment around before I do this fight. Um, you don't need a beetle stone. You need. I'll give you leashmonger. Yeah, that's fine. And you can have Beetle Stone because you're gonna be you're gonna be free casting for me. Imagine Fear and Hunger 3 is set in a universe similar to Akira and Cyberpunk. Motorcycle gangs, huge skyscrapers, and cities, psychic powers, religious cults, and laser rifles. That sounds kind of cool. Got filtered by Dragon's Dogma 1. Too many missables for my taste. That's true, there is a lot of miss. It's a big game. It's sort of overwhelming. And it was gonna be twice as big too before they, they had to cut it all down. Don't know about Marina being demigod, but it's apparent only children of new gods can achieve the status of old gods. All mirror and the girl. Yeah, yeah, that seems that's that's one of the things that's guaranteed to become an ascended god is you need to be half. Well, they say false god in all the books, but it's it's new god. To be honest, I find organic horrors scarier than mechanical horrors. But if anyone can make it work, it's orange. That's for sure. Yeah, yeah. I I like when I first saw Termina, the announcement for Termina. I'm like. World War One or World War Two horror? I'm like, I don't know. I just don't know. And I wasn't into it, but now I'm playing it. I'm like, okay, yeah, this this setting actually it actually slaps. I I really like it. I like the dungeon a bit more, um, but I think that I think it's just personal taste at that point. Do I have something better than a meat? I don't have anything better than a meat mallet, do I? Goodness gracious. Um. Okay, I think, I think you can have, 
Yeah, you know what? You can have the beheaded wizard. That's fine. Actually, no, it, it doesn't look going to do anything in this fight, is it? Um, Ring of Wraiths. Um, so that heals him over time. I might actually take that off him and give it to somebody else. Divine Spear. Do I really have nothing better than the spear? You know what? I might give him a fucking gun, actually. How many, how many bullets do I have? Bullets, 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 bullets. Here we go. 12 gauge shells. I have 10. Okay. Okay, that's all right. That's all right. Actually, what what's the nine mil like? Actually, because I don't I don't kind of don't want to waste those shotgun. Hmm, nine mil's kind of shit, isn't it? All right, yeah, Levi can have that. How much heroin do I have for my boy? Heroin? I have five heroin. Okay, Levi, let's fucking go. Um, 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 um. You have Ring of Wraith and Leech Monger. Do you need both? I don't think you need both. <laughs> Whatever, that's fine. Another ring of how many actually how many rings of race do I have? <laughs> I have three ring of race. That's awesome. Yeah, the setting's cooler for me than the dungeon. Yeah, personal taste. Wearing new glasses, heart shaped, sick. Let's go. You get a headache from it. That's no good. Hey, the fool. How you doing? Um, I think we're good to go. Actually, might just have a quick. Blue vial to top that up, and I might just top everyone's hunger up just in case. Actually, you know what? Do you believe the traces of old gods will hold a secondary purpose in a future game apart from being a stand in of the old god they came from? Um, they already kind of do, um, in, in the same way that a god is a physical representation of the forces that they control. So, like, when an old god is in the world, um, their, whatever force that they're a representative of becomes woven into reality. So before Sylvian, before Grogoroth, there was no creation, there was no destruction. When they arrived, they brought creation and destruction with them. Before they came, they, that wasn't here. Um... And the traces sort of represent the those forces still being here. So you might be able to hear my sheep outside. She's being very loud. Um, so it seems to be that while the traces are here, we sort of have a, a clear a clear sign that the forces that they brought to this this planet are still here. Kind of like Vanushka, how Vanushka is dead. Spoilers, by the way. Vanushka is dead. Um, you would be able to find traces of Vanushka somewhere. Yeah, traces of Grogoroth, traces of Sylvian, traces of Rur. The baby's going fantastic, by the way. They're they're loving life. Happy and playing and, and delightful. That's what I that's what I suspect anyway. With the traces, it's it, you know it's it's one of those things where it's like ah, uh, we don't know. It's not a hundred percent confirmed, and it, it might not ever be a hundred percent confirmed. So, so you know, it's sort of like take it with a grain of salt, right? Can I cook? Um, can I cook? Mushroom stew, I can. Okay. Oh, oh, I can make mixed herbs. Might do that. Nice. Cool. <laughs> Down here. Mm. Levi, sat if you want. You're not hungry. Shut up, Levi. Oh. There's something back here then. I thought that I thought that other path was the way to the rats, and I don't want to fight the rats, so. Here we go. Penny bun, a lot of mushrooms down here, hey. Someone's dropped their bag, pick up vodka. Five blue vials. Oh my god. That's how you know there's gonna be a fight coming up. Five blue vials. <laughs> Traces of gods represent the crumbs of the full, which is more horrifying picture, which is explained in Grogroth. And you basically dies from fear after seeing Grogroth's full form. Jesus, yeah. 
My bad, I meant Olivia could become an Ascended God, not Marina. I get them confused. Since Olivia's sister was able to become Machine God, I think Olivia could become one as well. Um, well, we're not entirely sure what logic is because Yellow King's whole deal was he wanted to make a god that didn't rely on the power of the old gods. And that's why he hated new gods, is because they're just part of the old god schemes. So I don't think he would do this whole big scheme just to make another Ascended God. So that's why I don't think Logic is, is an Ascended God at all. Um, could be wrong. We could find out, you know, in, in, a, in a patch or in Fear and Hunger 3 that, oops, oops, no, actually Lagarde fucked up and she is an Ascended God. And it is really weird that Logic has the Cube of the Depths on her. And it's got Vanushka's symbol on it. So something weird is going on there. But what exactly is happening is not clear whatsoever. Um, so whether or not Logic is, is an Ascended God or Half God or whatever, it's like, I we just don't know. Rats, rats, we are the rats. Let's go. <laughs> Had to get the name More They Do. Um... So I'm a demon, right? One of the forms I took back before I possessed before I possessed this body was um of the of the more they do a black dog spirit. Bro was mad that his daughter was better god than him. Yeah, he kinda was, yeah. <laughs> Guess you have to wait for more character contacts. I think I think we do. I I just don't think we can answer that question right now. Maybe there's some like little bit of lore squirreled away that that will confirm or deny something about it but if there is I, I simply haven't found it yet so want to hear a Vanushka I think of that one Lemon Demon song wait which which Lemon Demon song turning the girl into God of Fear and Hunger required the strength of the God of Death I think the Machine God required Vanushka well so in order to make um I Vanushka how do I not know that song Oh right, 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 right. I know, I know all of Neil Cesariga's songs, and I, I didn't listen to to Lemon Demon. Who is Neil Cesariga? I completely forgot about that. Um. Yeah, yeah. So what we what we know for sure about Ascended Gods is that they require, um, the death of an old god, and you need to be half god. But that's only for Ascended Gods. And we don't know what logic is yet. So, you know, we'll see. So the Ascended Gods we know of are Olmir and the God of Fear and Hunger. There might be more. But because there are other old gods that have died. Um, like Vanushka is dead. So there might be another Ascended God flying around somewhere that ascended using Vanushka. But we, it could be, it could be logic for all we know. You know, maybe, maybe... Um, Maybe Lagarde fucked up and, and, and thought he could try and make a, a new kind of god, but then just accidentally made another ascended god using Vanushka, right? But it's not super clear right now. My theory is that Vanushka merged with the soul of Livia's sister and changed role from nature god into logic the machine god. It could be. Well, see, so... Um, so... Vanushka is also the god of meditation and enlightenment. In the first game, in the Book of Enlightenment, Vanushka is in there. And also, the symbol for logic is in there. So there is a good chance that logic that logic ascended using the soul of Vanushka. Um, it's not explicitly confirmed, and that sounds like a really dumb thing for Lagarde to do, so I, I'm not entirely convinced, but it could be. It legitimately could be. Mushroom Man song. <laughs> if Kaiser changed Vanushka's role to the role of Machine God, I can see nature being replaced with machines. Well, nature is dying. That's that's it's it's legitimately canon that nature is in the slow process of dying right now. Because Vanushka's dead. What god died so all me could ascend? This is getting really this, now. This is this is the sort of deep lore that I want to talk about in future videos. That we need to. That's why I did this this other video to get the base down, so we can start talking about cool shit like. What's Olmir's deal, right? <laughs> Common Lagarde L, yeah. <laughs> he's, oh man, he's just full of L's, isn't he? Um, 
So in the church, there seems to be a lot of sulfur worship. And I guess if 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 we can kill I should be able, I should be able to show you later on in this stream. We'll, we we should be able to go through it. Um now in there's a house you can find next to the tower, it's Donovan's house, who's a priest. Um he he started dreaming of Mahab, the city of the gods, and he got obsessed with it. He somehow got a copy of Passages of Mahab so he could physically visit Mahav for a short time. And he went and visited the, uh, what was it called? The Tower, I think it's the Tower of Enlightenment, where you can speak to the new gods. He went there. We don't know if he, he didn't say if he actually visited the new gods, but he knew that the, he knew that he could speak to the new gods. So he tries to build a Tower of Enlightenment, just the the little the little dungeon part of it, in his house so he can visit the new gods but in his in his crazy writings he talks about how the king is missing the sun is missing and in the first game when you speak to when you speak to um the statues that are the statues who are just chilling around there um one of them says that yeah we're waiting for our king to return so this whole thing has been set up since the first game where the king of the old gods is missing. He he was likely it was likely a sun god that went missing that died something happened to it. And it is likely the case that Ulmir took its soul and ascended to become Ulmir because Ulmir canonically visited Mahab just before he ascended. When he was crucified he visited Mahab, came back as the Chad Ormir we know and love, and slaughtered his way across the world and established his religion. So what is most likely the case is what happened is Ormir visited Mahab, killed the sun god, or may maybe the sun god let him take his soul. It, 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 again, this is all very vague. This happened, and then he came back and ascended to be the new sun god, because Ormir is a kind of sun god, as we can see, because he's a bit of a Lightbringer-type situation, where, if you can see, it's sort of really... It's hard to see here, but it says, let there be light on this on this little... on the on the matches, which is Ormir. And, you know, there's there's a classic story in, in real life, too, where um, uh, Christianity used a lot of old sun god pagan imagery for their for their new gods um so it's likely that Ulmir ascended using the soul of an old sun god but when that happened when Ulmir ascended so and this comes back into the new sulfur when as Ulmir was reshaping himself to become a god what he did was he created effigies of all the bad things in his mind and by doing that he sort of made a mental split in his head where he had the good stuff that he wanted to take with him as he became a god and the bad stuff that he wanted to get rid of, all of his bad emotions, his hatred, his anger, that sort of stuff. And when he ascended, these two officially split. One became Ulmir and one became Sulphur. We find this out when we, when we speak to the man in black after we do Black Caleb's questline. Um, and all of this sort of suggests that Ulmir ascended using using it this the the king of the gods the sun god, and then split into sulfur. We know for sure that Ulmir and sulfur are two two sides of the same coin. Oh, so there's a lot going on there. What did I miss? What did I miss in chat? Sorry. Uh, hey Fleur, how you doing? And Mirai, good to see you guys. Can the gods go to Seki? Yeah, he did. Sulfur is the subconscious part of Ulmir, the id by Freud and shallow by Jung. Yeah, yeah, that's that's definitely what it what it seems like for sure. It's implied that sulfur is basically Satan. His sigil is literally having the upside down cross. That's very true, actually. Yeah. Sulfur God seems to have the remain of Ulmir's sin, according to the man in black. Yeah, yeah. Can you guys say anything if you ask him about logic in Figure Hunger One? I don't know. We'll have to next time we play. Next time, oh, you know, I'll write this down. Ask about sulfur 
They don't say anything about sulfur, which is annoying. Logic. I might try the sun. They don't say anything about rare either, which is weird. They should know about rare. Also implied that the unknown good part or the bad part of him became the all mere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, so the guy you speak to, right? So canonically, Ormir had 12 apostles when he was alive. But then when he came back as a god, he only had 11. And the man in black, when you speak to him, says that he stood next to Ormir as he ascended. So it seems that um, one apostle was Judas. And I think that's who we speak to. When I think that's the man in black. I think that's Judas. This is one of those things that will never, ever be confirmed, right? <laughs> but that's what, I, that's what I think it is. And in the, I believe it's the Gnostic, the Gnostic Bibles, there's a Bible of, there's a Gospel of Judas um, that is a non-canonical biblical text and actually quite heretical. Um, but it suggests that Judas betrayed Christ because Christ asked him to. So I wonder if the Judas in Fear and Hunger that was part of the plan. He specifically self-sacrificed himself so Ormir could ascend, which would be, which would fit perfectly, fit perfectly in with the Ormir law. Rur seems interested in bringing back the sun. The sun and the moon are connected. Um, we don't, we don't know what Rur wants. The only person who can tell us what Rare wants is Pakeli. And there's two things here. Pakeli could just be lying to us because we know he, he we know he has lied to us because he straight up says he's lied to us, but he could be lying to us about everything. Um But see the festival so the festival is sort of a natural event where Rur just sort of gets bored and then comes down and has a look at what's happening in, on the surface and everybody just goes fucking crazy. Sulfur was like, hey, this is pretty cool. And they hijacked the festival. So the actual organization of the festival, so the part where contestants are brought in and people actually start killing each other is all Sulfur's doing or the Sulfur cult's doing. We're not sure if the god is cognizant enough to organize it but the cult definitely is so we we simply do not know what Rur wants what he's doing and the only sort of suggestion we have of that is that it's not Rur's not even there it's just his traces so Rur may not even be there at all So it's, it's it's kind of funny. <laughs> Whenever in the first game that Rur hates the new gods, both of his servants, Pocket Cat and Lady Moon, want the girl, which is, I assume, to prevent the creation of an ascended god. Yes. That does seem to be the case. Um, I am not entirely convinced that everything that we see Rur doing is not just what Sulphur is doing. But that's something that I need to do a lot more research in before talking about. Rur is, Rur is explicitly a jealous god, yeah. Not to throw my two cents in, but lunch break service, I've got to go. Maybe another time. Yeah, no worries, Lepidop Lepidopterus. Your name is complex. <laughs> what about Moon Lady from the first game? From what I remember, I think she's a servant of Rur. Well, they say they're a servant of Rur, but every time in, in Termina, all the servants of Rare that say they're a servant of Rare aren't. So it's it's hard to tell. But I don't want to say anything for certain until I look into it more. So just take take this with a grain of salt, right? <laughs> Rance of the Circle even said a ter stated that Termina happened because God, humans mess with gods in their rituals. Yeah, he yeah, he basically just straight up says this festival shouldn't happen. Find it funny how spoiler rare traces just gets bored and leaves. I love that. Yeah, that's 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 gonna be my favorite part of the ending. My brain hurts just from listening. Yeah, there's that there's so much that goes into this lore, right? The moon reflects the sun as always. Exactly. See, that's that's a brilliant part of it. 
big part of where all mere worship differs from Christianity is that instead of all mere being sacrificed for the sins of everybody else, others are sacrificed for him. Um, not necessarily. Um, because the way the ritual works is that when you're sacrificed, you're not sacrificed to all mere. It's a ritual of protection. Um, so we see, we actually, we physically see this. I think we see this in, in the first game too, is when you're, when you're nailed to one of the, um, the Olmir crucifixes, it's that act of self-sacrifice and the act of your blood protects. It's, it's the act of doing that, that protects the, the town that you're in. So we find out it's sort of said multiple times that, when you do these rituals, so when you, you know, when you masturbate in the Sylvian circle, when you sacrifice someone to Grogoroth, you're not, you're not sending a letter to the god and saying, hey, give me this, right? Um, and the god says, like, looks at, looks at what you sent him and said, oh, yeah, yeah, that's cool. Here, I'll give you this. That's not what's happening. What you're doing is it's kind of entering a cheat code into reality, Right? You're saying that, you know, you're pressing up, down, up, down, A, B, A, B. And then reality is like going, okay, yeah, here, have this. And when somebody is sacrificed in an incredibly painful way and crucified, like Ulmir, then reality is like, okay, yeah, you get protection. And what the old gods do is they rewrite reality in such a way that those cheat codes now exist. The old gods the, and, and, and ascended gods, the old gods and ascended gods, if they want to, they can just do that on command because they have already done this. Um, but for everybody else who isn't a god, you know, Ulmir has that protection built in. You know, wherever Ulmir is, is protected. But exactly, exactly, Apple, you're getting closer. So you're basically mantling that god more and more you are aligning yourself more and more with that being so when you kill somebody you're aligning yourself more and more with grogoroth and that way you can use those abilities more and more basically just just thinking of just think of it as like larping as that god but when you larp here you actually become more like them so it's really interesting like Lovecraft literature, everybody who knew of older gods became insane. Yeah. <laughs> Sacrificed in the same way he was taking on his role. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of like if you know if you know um Elder Elder Scrolls lore, it's kind of like mantling. Although, as far as we know, you can't fully mantle a god like like you can in like you can in Elder Scrolls. You can mantle a god and, and basically become them. You can't do you, it. It hasn't been done as far as we know in this. Looking at the flashback in the first game, it seems like the sacrifice seems to be a willing thing yeah actually yes it does have to be willing because the sacrifice in this game isn't isn't for all mere it's for sulfur whoa <laughs> now that's some deep cuts broke roth is kind of cool that way that ritualistic sacrifice is pretty poggers my dude have access to black orb <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Just cutting my legs off get me closer to Olivia. <laughs> uh, which adds my as to my collective unconscious theory. Kind of. We'll have to see exactly what... Because, yeah, I remember somebody saying that... Or well, it may have been you, actually. Um, that the green hue is a collective unconscious of humanity. And I don't... I haven't seen explicit proof of that. So the exact mechanics, I haven't seen... You know, going one step down and those mechanics, we I haven't seen that discussed. So I, I obviously, you know, I'm I'm prefacing I'm prefacing pref, preface prefacing all of this by saying I need to do a shitload more research, right? And when I do when I do my law videos, I don't I do as much research to be as confident as possible in what I'm saying. I don't want to say anything that I'm not hundred percent sure in, unless I say this is just a theory, but it's just a theory. A game theory. Is it cross in center of out, out of town upside down? No. Um. But because it's an unwilling sacrifice, it wouldn't work with Ulmir because it does need to be willing. 
but it it is suggested that the priests worship sulfur because of all the the crazy shit we see in church. Well, mine is bad today. Here we go. Sorry about that. Maybe you can sheen by thinking you're living inside a dream like a tear. Maybe. Maybe. Basically, we imagine the gods, they exist more powerfully, and then the cycle repeats like a positive feedback loop. Um. Maybe. That doesn't really vibe with Venushka dying and then nature dying as well but a lot of the stuff on the fringes is sort of really vague god of fear and hunger was sick of saving by coin flip when it's over get picked by crow so she changed it <laughs> creator also works with haphazard vague details so theory crafting the law is in the spirit of the game it, it literally is this game is built from the ground up to do it it's funny but unlike a lot of those games, it's not like the creator was like, I'm just going to leave this part, part vague and I'm not going to think about it. Miro has, it seems like Miro has definitely has all this stuff planned. Like he'd have a master document somewhere where it's all, all the exact law is written down. But then, you know, he sort of looks at it from the perspective of the people in, in the world. And it's like, well, no, they, they would know this. They wouldn't know this, et cetera, et cetera. And like, you know, they did know this, but then the church changed it. That's the impression I get because it's pretty consistent from what I've seen. It's all very consistent and that doesn't happen if you're just, you know, just half-assing it. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he's just got lucky. <laughs> you know, this keeps, he's, he's, won, he's won 10 law coin flips in a row. <laughs> Orange loves to allow room to think because he's a DM at heart. Is he? Is he a DM? That would explain a lot. <laughs> Gotta go, yeah, let's all break into Orange's house and let's hack his all accounts and, and get, get these documents. Don't actually don't actually hack his accounts, guys. Don't do that. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm gonna take a short break. Um and I'll be uh B. So and I and we'll get back and then I'll then I'll go kill Moonless. So B R B R B R B R B.
Hey, how we doing? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Orange has like a little post-it note on his computer. Is like, <laughs> and it's just got August backstory and a whole bunch of question marks around it. <laughs> Happy to see a little community forming around this incredible game. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice to see see people getting into it. It's a little bit of a a little bit of a um, a hidden gem, I think. But I think there's a bit of a, an issue with it, where there's a lot of people who know about it. A lot of people are interested, but big creators struggle to cover it because of its extreme content. Um, some still do anyway because it's funny, but you know, a lot of ones, a lot of them see it and go, "Oh, that's cool." Oh, wait, yeah, all the rape, huh? Hmm, maybe not. <laughs> you know, maybe maybe that'll change over time because you know, in in terms of extreme content, Termina is toned down, but still quite shocking compared to like you know, normie games, right? Um. Um, so still, I still, you know, pretty extreme. Um, you know, but there's, there's a lot of people who want to know about it too. There's a lot of people who are interested in it. Um, you know, cause you'll see, you'll see Fear and Hunger videos and they'll get like, there was a review. They got like a hundred thousand views. It's just a review of the game. Like. Are people really that interested in it? Yeah, they are. <laughs> this game pretty popular in Russia. I've seen, I've even seen um, Russian people say that this is just like going outside in in, in the nighttime. It's like fear and hunger. <laughs> uh, honestly, it's better that way with it. I think, I think it, it, it definitely, it definitely makes a really weird, interesting community when you've got this game that everybody wants to play but nobody will. Like it's like this. <laughs> It's funny. <laughs> Full out two mods and gothic. Mmm, a bit, yeah. It'd be funny if you could use the boat to escape. <laughs> I don't think you'd be able to. I think the fog would just choke you out. How you doing, Dan Danielisk? NK? Quickie? Terran Ghost? Puppet Bra? How much people I haven't greeted yet? Normie games, yeah. <laughs> the stinger is pulsating. Oh, whoa. Yeah, yeah. The first guard you see. Is that a... Oh, okay. Closing this one. Bye-bye. <laughs> Have you ever played Cruelty Squad? Um, no, I haven't. I've heard good things about it, though. It's popular in Russia thanks to a couple of large YouTubers streaming it. Community really exploded after that. Oh, that's cool. You fight crazy half-naked people who are burnt to the crisp by the moon. This game is anti-YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> and hunger community where everyone says the most deranged things in the calmest of ways <laughs> oh let me see if i can find this real quick uh no no i won't i won't bother it, it, it was a funny meme that, that kind of applied then i realized it didn't anyway let's um 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 kill it's time to kill god and by god i mean a giant cave wolf who has actually done nothing wrong and we we love Penny Boon. How many pet pills do I have, actually? I have one pet pills. That's not enough. Um. Hmm. This might be troublesome. Oh, so I'm going to top up my uh, Sars mind, though, I think. You can have a beer. Everyone else... I don't really need their abilities, do I? Except, like, nobody else has spells, so... Hang on. Oh, he's getting kind of hungry, isn't he? Um, bu -bu 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 you have goulash. I have 10 mushroom stew, and I just picked up like 100 more mushrooms. <laughs> um, Skills. What do you have? Gun proficiency. What does this do? Greater accuracy with shooting. Ah, oh, okay. And what do you have? You have hurting, which would be very nice, and la dance macabre. Short circuit. French toss. And you have... What's that? The utter struggle of live streaming this game. Yeah, for sure. I don't think big streamers could do it on YouTube. In in the West at least, could do it on YouTube or Twitch without getting banned. That would that would struggle, yeah. 
Wish we could save Moonless or spare it. Well, yeah, you can spare it if um, August is alive. You don't kill it. If August is not alive, then, well... You hear something large approach you. <gasps> does she have her wrench toss? Yes, she does. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Just guard then. Guard. Guard. Yeah, no, not going hungry this run. I kind of wanted to get, um... This music slaps. Guard. 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 I'm going to turn it up so you guys can hear it. Hulking Beast reveals itself. Can I attack it yet? Not quite. Guard. 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 Levi. Time to get higher, buddy. Let's fucking go. Can I not take heroin in a battle? Are you fucking kidding me? You can't take heroin in battle? Oh, that fucking sucks. God damn it. Ugh, that really blows. Levi's going to be useless this fight. Well, we'll use a gas can. This should help. Do you have a favorite song in this game? I really like the Kaiser fight theme. Um, yes. That's What's that pulse and anxiety? It goes really hard. Um, honestly, it's hard to pick a favorite. Um, I really like the Logic Fight song. Um, nobody remembers it though because it's Logic and you, you, you never want to do that fight more than once because it sucks. But it has a really, I was going through the tracks the other day and like it's still really nice. Really nice. Um, really nice OST to it. What do I want to do? I want to, I want Black Steel and Abella. You can wrench toss. Can we wrench toss Miasma? No, no, we'll just attack Miasma. Osar, you can rev up and you can hurting. Pause. Levi, you can you can attack the poor as well. Orphanage music goes hard for sure. Oh, that hurt. Nice. Good, 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 good. Pick up Black Steel. Let's fucking go, boys. Let's fucking go. I saw rev up, and you're going to. You're going to hurting. You want to do the back legs? Oh, the gas canister. Someone needs to attack the gas canister. Levi. You know, we'll do, we'll do that next turn. Miasma. We, want, we really want to get rid of Miasma before it starts spewing out poison. There we go. Good, good, good. Ooh, Gaping Bite infects as well. That's nasty. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, Susan, attack the gas canister. Abella. It's kind of low on health, actually. I might, I might start healing people up. Mixed herbs. Because a Gaping Bite could just straight up take him down at this point, so... Skills hurting the leg again, and Levi can, yeah, just attack the leg again. Orphanage has fantastic atmosphere. They really nailed it in that one. They really did. Okay, I think... I think we're good, actually. We just, I think we just start wailing on the, um, on the body now. Oh, that's a lot of mind damage, actually. I'm going to have to sacrifice Levi before we get to the final fight, aren't I? Oh, uh, no, we're doing Bunker, aren't we? We're not doing the tower. Okay. Torso. Torso. Osa. Rev up. Skills hurting. Here we go, Levi. Attack. Go, 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 go. 
To be honest, I don't want to play the game, not because of extreme content, just because I'm not good with dark places, super strong enemies pursuing you, and the atmosphere. Yeah! <laughs> it's... It's a very oppressive game. One feels it's oppressive in a different way. Um, but yeah, they're very oppressive games. You don't get a break. Until you really know what you're doing, you just don't get a break. And it's kind of stressful. And not, not everybody enjoys that. Is he really only doing like 200 damage with a shotgun? I should just not give him the shotgun unless I'm getting it. Oh, I guess I did want to get him high, didn't I? But I didn't. But I couldn't. Mix herbs. Okay. Just, uh, just, just wail. We're just wailing on him now. I like how Rag in the first game has a scar on his left eye and August does not. In the second, Moonless loses one of her left eyes. Oh, she does, doesn't she? That's funny. And Levi needs to heal, actually. Oh, I hate wasting Rev, but we gotta do it. Gotta do what you gotta do. Don't ya? Do I have these herbs? Here we go. Orphanage is creepiest section in Termina, especially when you see the basement and what sigils have been written in front of Hugo's office. For sure. Absolutely for sure. <gasps> Hold it. I'll take care of her. Easy, girl. Easy. You did good. These ones are not the enemy. They're friends. She is an old family acquaintance. She doesn't mean harm. I hope you're not too not hurt too badly. Dun, dun, dun. Let's see what I got. It's not much, but hopefully these will help the worst bite marks. You get cloth fragment and two condensed blues. Condensed blues are the best healing in the game. They're fantastic. Hold the bandage on that wound. Use the herbs so you don't get any scars. Last time I did this, Olivia was fucking dead. And he's like, uh, this should help. It's like, no, it didn't. It didn't help. <laughs> God. We got kind of wrecked, didn't we? Um, let's see. Green herbies. Here we go. Use that and that. Oh, I should have used my toilet paper. Hey. Oh, I got plenty of cloth fragments, that's alright. But yeah, not bad. Not a bad, not a bad fight. Um, blue vial? Yeah, okay. And we'll have, we'll have some beers. We'll have some beers to celebrate. Oh, I don't have any beer. We'll have some wine to, we'll have some wine to celebrate. That howling really does, does a number in your mind, doesn't it? Items, healing, wine vial, here we go. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. Good, 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 good. Oh, blue. Thank you. Okay. The impressive early game RNG IMO is the biggest turnoff for the wider audience. Yeah, that probably doesn't help, but I like it. What's even the person purpose of green red mix? I don't know. I've never done it. Um, maybe I should. <laughs> Just once to see what it actually does. All right, let's see. Okay, so we'll go green. Let's see, what does it do? It cures poison and infection and green herb by itself just cures infection. Okay, so it just, it just cures poison as well, but it's useless because you get a hundred white files. So you actually don't need to do that. Ever. You, you never, ever, ever need to mix red and blue. Red and green. Like, ever. Full stop. Moonless is the goodest of doggos. Moonless is good, and I enjoyed killing her. Love in my run when August says they're not enemies. And Karen just fucking shoots him. <laughs> uh, based? Based? Based on what? Random documents lay down on the table. You find NLU Reconnaissance Report number one. Okay, let's see. Based on this shotgun. NLU Reconnaissance Report. Nameless Liberty Underground. Reconnaissance Report number one. Quick bullet points in the reconnaissance. Nameless Liberty Underground. Organization roots dates back to the First Great War. Oh, so they're people spying on NLU. Okay. 
formed a small group participating in civil disobedience across different regions in Europa, Veronia, and Eastern sanctuaries. It became more organized with partisan fighters and professionals in experience in guerrilla warfare. The organization formed under NLU name after the First Great War, loosely connected throughout Europa. No centralized leader figure. Spies in high-ranking positions in the armies of Eastern Union, Bremen Empire, and Allied forces. Who are the Allied forces? Who are they? I want to know. Recently has taken action in sabotaging both Allied forces Operation Bow and Arrow, as well as Eastern Union's Operation Logic. Oh, they tried to sabotage Logic. Bohemian sect considered a threat to Operation Logic. Jesus, no wonder they were pissed at them if they tried to sabotage logic. Always calling Moonless an old family acquaintance might kind of confirms he's Rags. He's he's definitely either Ragenbelder or Rags descendant. I suspect descendant. Uh, but I I, I rec I'm I'm pretty confident it's descendant. Um, because there wasn't really any suggestion that Ragenvalda was like doing it, doing an Enki thing and living forever. So he could, like, you know, he could, he was pretty strong and, you know, crazier shit happened in the dungeon. Right. But it didn't seem to be the case that that's what he was interested in. Rondon and their allies, probably. Yeah. If you have mind read, August thinks she's more like a sibling. Okay. NLU is basically Cressau Circle and Polish Home Army in Tamino. Yeah, it seems like it. Hope when Pav or August become playable, you can easily recruit the other since they both have the same secret goal of coming here. That'd be cool. Just a family tradition of killing evil. Ragnvalda the goat. Let's go. Goatest of all time. Hey, Tanaka. Hey, buddy. <laughs> yeah, you're doing there. It's really troublesome. What has come of our train trip? Especially when you have a big meeting scheduled at the city. That's creepy. Good afternoon. It's Kita Tanaka. Good to make your acquaintance. What are you doing here? Not exactly. The town does seem like a good playpoint. Uh, don't let my looks deceive. I do know my way around in nature. I think, at least. You are right. I'm afraid I'll have to refuse your company. I really need to hurry and I think I'll do best alone. Hmm, okay. Let's kill him. Um, you can have... Oh, black steel. No, you don't get black steel. You can't fucking use black steel. I get black steel. Yes! Yes! Now I need... Now I just need to get a Yege Getsu amulet. And we'll be fucking ready to go. Okay. Um, actually, you know what? You... You get... You headed with it. Here we go. Da, da, da. Then I swallow you whole! Oh, God. That's the question, though. What the fuck is Moonless doing here? Did August bring her to hunt down Lagarde? Maybe. I don't know what you're trying to pull. But know that I'm prepared to answer violence with violence. Are you okay, bro? I don't think you're okay. To get that arm first. You must think I'm some kind of idiot. You try to persuade me with your talk while still holding nefarious thoughts? Fool me once. Shame on me. Fool me twice. I don't know what happens. I never let things get to that point. What a chad. Oh god, he's revving up? What the fuck? I've never seen that happen before. You get 20 shillings, a lucky coin, gentleman's hat, and broken eyeglasses. Huh. Thanks. Yeah, I, I didn't know they could rev up. That's sick. I would hate to think what he does if you let him rev up and then attack. Kind of want to find out, though. 
Okay. You feel the walls closing in on you. Imposters had the fattest of loot. That was a nice amount of money, wasn't it? 20 shillings. How many shillings do I have now, actually? Shillings. 77. Nice. Let's go. I can almost get a heart and heart, can't I? This one? Hi. Bye. Pick up the God Manifesto. Hi. Hi. Shotgun shell, hell yeah. Okay, let's see. What does God Manifesto say? It has to have some crazy lore, right? If it's called God Manifesto. Written by renowned occultist Donovan Hugo. Let's go. I wonder if contestants can rev up too if it's just exclusive to doppelgangers. I've never seen anybody else rev up before though. Doppelgangers are kind of cute. Uh, they're just kind of silly with how they struggle to intimidate people. <laughs> like Olivia Doppelganger, who doesn't realize she can't wa she can't walk. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> that is funny. Yeah, she's like, oh, I can't walk, so I'll just run. <laughs> he brands as a meat grinder if you let him rev. Oh, God. Doppelganger he heads do count as contestant heads, which is very useful. Shotgun shell and ancient crypt. Yeah, that's where I keep my shotgun shells. Doppelgangers have their own charm to them. It's insane. Levi's can't even put together a proper sentence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another iteration of Olivia's Toppleganger is that it doesn't understand the wheelchair, so it remakes it in, in flesh. Wait, that happens? I have read cr contrary beliefs, ridiculous beliefs even, from facets not to be named here. From an effete facet well known in occult circles, despite his biased view on the world. On the <laughs> this language is tripping me up. I have read contrary beliefs, ridiculous beliefs even, from facets not to be named here. From an affete facet well known in occult circles despite his biased view on the, wo on the world of the otherworldly. So he's, he's saying that Enki isn't to be trusted here. This is what Donovan is saying. Just because this not to be named dark priest wrote a book that is cited in most occult studies doesn't mean his word shouldn't be taken with a pinch. No, with a jar of salt. Words about the death of an older god especially are nothing short of absurd. Interesting. How do you kill an idea, an inspiration, or one of the primordial concepts once it is conceived? The thought will forever haunt your mind for as long as our consciousness is there to remind us of it. Once an older god is born, it has existed forever. A god, like a human soul, is not constrained by linear time and space. It can reincarnate multiple times within our history and future history without us knowing any better. They spawn from the green stream, but which spawns first? An older god in its physical form, or the concept our consciousness gave birth to? The mockery that is the new gods, the puppets yearning to become the puppeteers, should never be mistaken with the gods that dwell beyond our understanding. They are but byproducts of the immense influence the older gods hold in us. Just by flying too close to the sun, or why not moon? And one can attain a glimpse of the true intensity that is older gods. Men inherited the power from the beasts that walked before us. How could such power even come close to that of older gods? Alright, that's a... Hmm... Hmm. Hmm. What's the difference between new gods and whatever Enki became? Um, you can basically think of Enki as just an immortal. As far as I, as far as I know. So he's not really like more powerful than a regular human. He's just a very strong mage you can think of. Two shillings. Floor you want to go to second floor, I think. Here we go. The air is filled with the absolutely disgusting scent of gore. Inky is just vibing, yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, 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 oh. And we're here. Back in church. Let's go. 
But, 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 well, he recognized that becoming a god, becoming a, a new god was a false path, a trap. Perfection circle. The gods among men. The men among gods. True. So true. Um, everyone's kind of hungry, aren't they? Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Veggie. Let's have some veggie pies. Veggie pies are actually really nice. I haven't had one in Yonks. I should get one next time. Next time. I last time last pie I had was a Philadelphia cream ch cream cheese and um. Jalapeno and Philly cream cheese pie. It was really nice. I don't have block picking, do I? Oh well. Oh, there's a bed here. Rusty key. Nice. Duct tape. Ornamental lantern. Anything else here? No. My thought is that once you master blood magic, you can just turn yourself immortal. So it's not a god plus a power of a new god. Basically. <sighs> Dark priests can use object and even buildings like liches use phy phylacteries. So probably do the same and live long enough to witness the bidding of, of Termina. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Last pie I had a chocolate a chocolate pie. I'm getting bad vibes from this place. Yeah, yeah, I bet. Dot dot dot. Levi looks tense, as if he's preparing for an encounter. You should. Whisper, whisper. Asar seems to be talking to himself. <laughs> Who are you talking to, buddy? Do not stress your little head with that. It is nothing of concern. How is your mental state? <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> That's a fair question. Find a bottle of beer, tomato, two shillings. Nice. Nice. Where do I get a Yiga Getsu amulet from again? Um, 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 museum. So we're a while away yet. Lucky coin, dried meat. Nice. Bag of wheat. Pipe. Let's go. Let's go kill Samari. I like killing her. It's funny. You know, you can get you can get a lighter, right? So you just have infinite it's basically like an infinite match, right? I have never once gotten the lighter in any playthrough. Like at all. <gasps> what? Soul Devour, Salmon Snake. In the same Are you kidding me? That's insane. That's just ridiculous. Wow. I've never gotten a drop that good. I've gotten some good drops, but I've never gotten Soul Devour and Salmon Snake at the same time. Jesus. That's kind of ridiculous. Um, okay. Yeah, that's going straight on. <laughs> uh, why are you surprised? Chocolate is the most basic pie flavor. We don't have savory pies here. That's right. You guys don't have savory pies, do you? That's weird. That's really weird. Um, what do you think happened to the dungeon of fear and hunger in the second game? You'd think it'd become a holy site for the followers of the newborn god. Well, because fear and hunger kicked off the age of rationality. A lot of people don't believe in gods and magic anymore. So something you have to remember going into these games is that we go to very, very strange places and see things that 99% of the population would never see or think is even real. Even the, in the first game, even the people that run Rondon, that own the Dungeons of Fear and Hunger, don't know what's going on in there. They don't realize it's that bad. 
the crown prince goes in there and he's like, what the fuck is happening? Why is this place a waking nightmare? Um, so, like, you can, you can see people like Dan and Karen are more, are closer to what people think. So, well, actually, Karen's a bit of a conspiracy theorist anyway, but even she's like, it's not magic. It's just, it's just military experiments. And Dan is like, yeah, no, magic isn't real. Um, so we, we see, we see the most extreme things happening in this reality. And most people don't believe in it and it's real. Karen straight up thinks that the new gods, they're a bit of a conspiracy theory like the Illuminati. So that's, that's what people think of the new gods in this day and age is that they're, they're basically the Illuminati. Which is kind of true when you look at the Yellow King. But yeah, so people don't think that. For the most part, people don't think the gods are real. Um, and we do actually see what happened to the dungeons. It's an archaeological dig now. So it, there is there is historic interest in it, but it's more like um, it's more like oh this is this is what you know our our really religious ancestors believed, but we're more, we're smarter than that. We don't believe we don't have to believe in this crazy god stuff anymore. We're we're too smart for that. Kind of like what happened in re what happens in reality too. We're just like we're too smart to do all that old stuff. We don't we don't have to believe in that anymore. Dan denies magic. He knows Sylvian gifts. Well, he says he's he straight up says multiple times that like yeah, magic isn't real. When when you're not playing as him, um, when you're playing as them, canon is a bit funky. It seems to be that uh, there is a certain set path for them to travel, and when you're playing as that, um, canon sort of goes out the window. <laughs> it's more canon what they're doing as NPCs than what they do when you play as them. I wonder how people like Dan and Karen would fare in the dungeon. They would get ripped apart straight away, unfortunately. They would just get fucking destroyed. <laughs> I saw I did go there, and the other yellow mages in the first game used the dungeon as a training proving ground. Exactly, yeah. That hurting thing, I saw casted and ripped off his arm, uh, ripped off the arm of a crazed villager with his mind. It's just a trick. That's basically, yeah, that's basically what Karen thinks. Nobody believes what's happening here. Okay, what are we doing? Oh, we're probably going to get uh, death mask, aren't we? Church keys and sewer keys. Nice. Um, let's get some guns going. Crap. How many bullets do I have? 18 bullets. Oh, no. Look, look, look. It's the bug. I've got the bug again. I was sprinting even though I had a gun. Actually, that's a different bug, isn't it? Whoops. Hey buddy. Bye buddy. I like how he doesn't move. I really I really appreciate that. Funniest part of Termina is that Karen is an atheist, believing that Termina is a Bremen experiment gone wrong. Only to freak out when she sees fake Karen in multi apartment TV. Yeah, exactly. Well I think that's what most people would be like. You would just be you would be in there and you would be like You'd be like, well, magic obviously isn't real. But Everybody's going fucking insane and tearing themselves apart, and the Bremen army is still here. It has to be a Bremen army experiment. It has to be. What else could it possibly be? Please don't shoot Sammy. Uh, okay, I won't shoot her. I promise. I will not shoot Samari. <laughs> Sorry, just want a bit of a bit of a scab grab grab before we go on. Okay, we've got the bug again. This is the bug I was talking about. Find an 
egg. I'm I'm stuck. I, I actually can't turn off running. <laughs> there we go. It turns off automatically when you hit 50%. There we go. Bottle of vodka and a meat pie. Nice. Sorry, I got your lunch, Sammy. Girl is clearly shaken. What happened upstairs? Right, right, right. We saw that scene. Dot, dot, dot. The girl seems to be in shock still. Are you alright? I didn't mean to do it. I really didn't. I was just trying to protect her. If only she knew. Sniff, sniff. The girl is crying and hysterical. What if she doesn't understand what I've done? Ah. Uh... The girl just keeps on crying. I didn't mean to, to kill. Your tears won't bring him back to life. Okay. <laughs> what are you saying? What? You're completely crazy, huh? <laughs> what? Who are you calling crazy? <laughs> Samurai slowly creeps around you. Oh, that's why she's doing it. She's doing the creep the creep animation. My head cannon is that rags and sentence become supernatural superhuman witches who killed 90% of the monsters on the on the planet, which is that nobody believes they exist anymore. You're probably not that wrong, to be honest. It, w it really wouldn't be surprising if something like that happened. Exactly the type of ambience is exactly why I can't play it by myself. Yeah, creepy. Susan's on the grind until she's 50%. I respect that. We shouldn't be fighting each other. There has to be another way. Do we really have to do this? I have no interest in your quarrel. That's not fair. She attacked me. Talk. You're on the train too. Me too. We're on the same side. Oh, you, you saw me? What do you want? Actually, no. No. No, I can't trust you. I can't trust anyone. Sam is in a confused state. Now's your chance. Let's fucking go. Take out her fucking arms first. Actually, no, we should just wail on her body, hey. Ho! Oh! You're actually kidding. Chalk, soulstone, and colored blouse. Nice. That that must be that must be a bug, because when they're confused, they're not supposed to attack the next turn. I, I, I legit don't care about Abella losing an arm. I'm not giving her two-handed weapons anyway. Um, a formless pillar of human flesh. Yeah, I don't, I don't give a shit about giving her two-handed weapons anyway, so I'm not worried. But, yeah, that's that must, be, that must have been a little bit of a bug because they're not supposed to do anything on the turn they're confused, so. Huh. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, she'd be, she'd be bleeding, won't she? Um, you can have... This, here we go. And we'll get you a... Mm. Yeah, that's alright. I imagine Orange watching live streams and comments on his game and thinking about unironically implementing these comments in a future game. Maybe. Who knows, you know? Alter of the new gods. To appease the one sitting at the Grand Hall, you must put forth a worthy offering. Oh! Donovan's research into the new gods and visiting Mahab is why there's new god circles all over Termina. That makes a lot of sense. He would and has considered some of the Discord weirder ones, like broken teeth causing mental damage while eating. <laughs> What's Samaria's deal? So, Marina was sent to the Vatican to study when she was younger, and Samaria was there too, but she was part... She is magically more inclined than the average person, so Samaria was part of a super secret, weird cult deep in the Vatican. Full of me serious mental and physical trauma. And they try to use the, the kids in this cult to try and contact the old gods who have vanished. Um, and Samari secretly saw Marina and fell in love with her. And Samari can read minds and stuff, so I, I guess she could peer into Marina's mind too. And then when Marina left to go back home to, to Termina to find out what's going on here, Samari fled and, and joined her, but didn't actually let Marina know. So she's obsessed with Marina. She got serious one artist for Marina. But Marina legitimately doesn't know who Samari is. They've literally never met before. 
Or maybe they've met like once or twice, but Marina didn't remember it. So then they had a feel about Marina's dad. After playing as her once and having her in a party, there's a lot of contradictory information. I wonder what's up. Yeah, it's hard to know, isn't it? Body bag. How many heads do I have? I have a, a lot of heads. So let's turn these in, actually. Give an offering. Offer the dead crow. No. Turn seven heads. Seven of which are non-contestant. Let's go non-contestant. I want some books. Hey, babe. Thanks, babe. Bye. Craft item, soul stone. I have a lot of soul stones now. Sick. Summary basically Marina Stalker and spoiler, she kills Marina's daddy because she hated him. The pillar of flesh in Rare's world seen a few minutes ago. Well, she could read Marina's mind and knew that Marina didn't really like her father and feels sort of constricted by her father. And Marina's whole deal is that her whole life she's sort of been like in the shadow of her father and you know, Marina was born a boy and raised a girl because of her father and all this sort of crazy stuff. Um, so there's a lot of mental burden in Marina about her father. And Sam Marie was like, well, to get Marina to love me, if I kill her father, she'll be free and then she'll like me for it. The situation was a lot heavier than Sam Marie sort of realized, but that's sort of like where it came from. Punk and Pig brought me fly. I'm Anita. Let's go. Skills. You can't really talk to these fellas. Let's take out his arm. Abella can wrench toss his other arm. Osar can... We'll just wait on the legs, on the legs now. On the legs now. What's creepy is about Sammy when you do a B ending with Marina, she's there. Even if you killed her. Marina's ending B. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So what I suspect happened is... It's either a doppelganger... Or Or Sam Oh god damn it, I didn't give I need to give Abella's thing back. Or Samari's soul is detached from her body because of the crazy magical shit that we're doing to her. Oh, Asar's back. Good, 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 good. Let's take out his head. Take out his head. Here we go. Everybody's afraid of this thing. Okay, there we go. Search, find a soul stone. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. Why is everybody afraid of this thing? Rhabdophobia, teratophobia, and rhabdophobia. Oh, okay. I guess one of those is a fear of insects, and the other one's like a fear of magic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit, no, no, wait, 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 shit, 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 shit. He's going to coin toss me instantly. Oh, wait, no, no, he isn't. Okay, these guys don't have a coin toss dash attack. <laughs> Some enemies, when they dash at you, if they hit you, it's an instant coin flip attack. Uh, not all of them, though, thankfully. So. Okay, yep, yep, yep. The video is in one hour. So the time was right. It just had the wrong... Indicator for some reason. I don't know why it had a different indicator there So yes, the, the we will raid and we'll have one hour left of the stream and then we'll raid into the premiere of the video good Oh, I'm just gonna get up and stretch for a second Ugh. Okay. Yeah. I've heard the coin flip doesn't trigger if you're facing them. I'm not sure how true that is. Well, I wasn't facing them that time, so this guy just, just doesn't have one, I guess. Or he could have ended his dash the second before he hit me as well. It's, it's like there's so many little things that go into it, so. Um, if you lose a limb in this game, is there a way to get it back? Yes. And it's actually it's a lot easier in Termina than it was in the first game, too. You just have to draw a Sylvian circle and you'll get your you'll be fully healed and get all your limbs back. Uh I don't I don't care about getting a Bella's limbs back though. I I'm just not that worried. She doesn't I'm not gonna give her a heavy weapon. And missing limbs in this game isn't as bad as the first game as well. 
you, I think the worst thing is that you can't hold a rifle or a shotgun, which does suck. But in the first game, you could there was a permanent shield slot as well. Um, and so that's like a massive amount of defense that you're missing if you're missing an arm. So What kind of confuses me is that Marina gets mad at Samurai for killing her dad, but afterwards she says that he deserved his fate. Well, see... You can still love somebody, but still understand when they, you know, they talk shit and get hit, right? Um, like, you know, you, you can imagine, like, a family member who's an absolute bastard, and, like, you know, maybe maybe they're, they're doing drugs, right? Um, and then they overdose. You can get mad at that situation, but it's like, well, we kind of saw that coming, right? You know, it's, it's not a secret what happens. Um... Hopefully we find a Hexen. Yes, I know where the Hexen is, and it's just after the church, so we're not too far off. Uh, do you plan on doing channel memberships on YouTube? Um, maybe, you know. Um, memberships... I'll, I'll need to look into exactly what memberships actually offer. I thought it was just for streams that it offered stuff. Um, but if it's got, like, other stuff, like regular videos too, then, you know, I'll, I'll have a look. And I'm not, I'm not going to rule anything out, that's for sure. Um, because you know there's subscriptions on Twitch as well. I I wouldn't feel comfortable if memberships is just for streams because I don't stream as much here and I don't think that would be fair to say yeah you can pay and then you only get four streams a month and it's like ah. I, I don't know that it, it doesn't feel like I'd be doing enough for it. You know we'll see <laughs> we'll see. Do you realize you're the first person to do a law video about fear and hunger and you the first? There's really no other ones. That's so weird. Am I gonna be am I gonna be the Vati video of, of Fear and Hunger? <laughs> he actually does his his production value. I was looking at some of his videos the other day. His production value has gone way through the roof in his early stuff. It's great. Somebody got involved with business that she should have stayed out of. Yeah, yeah, there's that, that too. It's like, yeah, no, it's it's Marina's problem. It's not anybody else's, right? I love accident. I love running and begging and accidentally stepping into the bear trap. So I have to restart. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I think. I don't think. I actually don't think I've ever stepped into a bear trap unintentionally. Um, I did it once with Olivia to see what would happen, and her legs still get damaged, which I thought was a bit weird. Um, but I did step into one of those explosive traps accidentally, which was fucking hilarious. Apparently not. There's a deep dive, but I don't think it dug into the lore in detail. Okay. Vaddy is goated. He does some good stuff. I don't know if you were the first, but definitely my favorite. Oh, thank you. Avatar VTube looks good. I don't actually have my avatar in the video because I'm like, this isn't a video about me. You know, on my, unlike my, my other videos, I'm happy to put it in there because it's, it's sort of like, you know, it's dumb memes and whatever. But this lore video, it's like, it's just about fear and hunger. It's not about me at all. So let's just focus on fear and hunger. And, you know, may maybe I'll change it up. And maybe I'll change the format later, but... See how it goes. Do you stream on Twitch on Tuesday, then YouTube on Wednesday? Yes, I stream on Twitch on Monday and Tuesday. Hang on, I'll post my... So I post all of my stuff on, on Twitter. Um, so you can see all my, my schedules and stuff there. So I stream three times a week, Monday, Tuesday on Twitch and Wednesday on, on YouTube. I'm doing Fear and Hunger on Twitch, the first game at the moment. Um, and then I'm, I've got Termina on, on this channel. Just, you know, just, uh, just to give it a bit different, right? Um, I will be doing different games on Monday and Tuesday. Monday or Tuesday, I will be doing some different indie stuff just to, just to spice up a bit. Um... I have a couple of games lined up that I want to I want to play. So I'm not just playing Fear and Hunger. I love Fear and Hunger. Don't get me wrong. These games are fantastic, but it's like I need a little bit different, right? <laughs> you need to you need to spice it up, right? <laughs> you know, chocolate is my favorite food. You can't eat chocolate for every meal every day. <laughs> is there an Enki character analysis video? That's about all I saw as far as lore stuff. That actually sounds really interesting. Doing like character analysis videos. I'm gonna write that down. Character. Analysis. If I can spell analysis. Analysis. Analyze. Analyze. Videos. 
That'll do. <laughs> hey, Samurai Senpai. Yo, I just got into Termina. Oh, sick. Yeah, it's a fantastic game. What do you think of it so far? Hey, Night Lara. New viewer, been loving your vibes. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you like him. Ah, so yeah, I do. I will be having. So these these YouTube vods will be staying on this channel, and then my Twitch vods are on the other channel. I know it's a little bit confusing, but I think it's the easiest way just to so I don't have to download these vods and re-upload them and and, and yada yada. <laughs> anyway, I want to kill Sergal as well. Um, how long do we have? We've got about fifty minutes before the video. So, Reagan Valder analysis video sounds like the best idea ever. That would be pretty sick. Yeah, going through the different, like, you know, do one for each of the characters would be cool. You know, see, you know, where they were before the games, what happened during the games, and then what happens after, what we know. Not that confusing, I understand. Okay. Good. Good, 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 good. We can't talk to this guy. So you just attack the body. Abella, wrench toss his arm. Osar, attack his arm. And Levi, also attack his arm, actually. We need to get rid of these arms. Because they do nasty things. Okay, and now he's going to mind control. Does he have any other attacks other than mind control? Who got that? Ah, Susan, goddammit. Uh, that's annoying. We'll just wail on the body. Oh shit, she's got yeah, uh, she's got black steel, doesn't she? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh! <laughs> Oh no! She crit with black steel and killed Levi. <laughs> oh no! Wow! This is actually a nightmare. Yeah, f in chat for Levi, guys. F in chat. Yeah, the heroin's all mine now, I guess. Jesus. This is awful. One more person falls to Fortnite of the Gods. <laughs> oh, no. Here lies Levi. Oh, you're fucking kidding me. You're kidding me. You're kidding me. God damn it. No, 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 no. Goodbye. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We can go items and then we go uh, bear trap. Don't you fucking, you son of a bitch. God damn it, god damn it, god damn it, god damn it, god damn it. God damn it, god damn it, god damn it. Come on. God damn it, fuck, 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 fuck. Run, run, run. Never, never fight a death mask. Just never do it. Just don't do it. If this guy gets me, this might... Good, good, awesome, awesome, awesome. Goodbye. One done. Two done. Now, you are fucking mine. You son of a bitch. Lavender. Thank you, Punk and Pig. Never fight a death mask with his arms still. Never do it. Just don't. <sighs> Mobs like death masks are programmed to dodge bear traps. Oh my god. That's so creepy. Tackle, go away. You're in a bear trap. Actually, it might be faster just to wail on his body, hey. Yeah, let's see that. Tipped in a bear trap, but still has his legs. Bear traps work differently on enemies. At least in this game. Deathmaster was waiting to collect the rest of your party after Levi. It was. Oh man, that sucks. 
Can I recruit anybody else on day one? I don't think I can. Let me think. Let me think. Is there anybody else available on day one? And now I can't even get Levi's head either. And I was going to get his soul. <sighs> that kind of sucks. And now I can't get his soul either. Fucking... Yeah, I think I think Levi might be it, hey. Try to get necromancy. Can you even find Marina on day one? Where is Marina on day one? After the train, I think she just she just buggers off until day two. I'm happy to kill her and get necromancy, but Look, to be honest, Levi was kind of shit. So I'm not... Dan joins you on day one. No, you can't keep him there. I think there's, I think there's a bug where you can keep him, but it's not intended. We could try. At the mayor's, if Henrik transformed to the gentleman. Um, this is day one morning, so that may not have happened yet. We'll try. We'll have a look. Not at the train. No. You can't recruit anyone from the train anyway, so. Don't you fucking, don't you fucking do it. Stop running. Here we go. Got him. Punk and Pig brought me two matches. Let's go. Your father. Goodbye. Skills, wrench toss. Nah, we'll just wail on him. Yeah. Goodbye. Kind of don't want to fight you. Come on. Come on. Haha, <laughs> I'm faster than you, buddy. You can get fucked. You can get fucked. Bup, 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 bup. Where am I going? Where am I going? Day one night. Mayor's Manor. She'll follow you for a couple of screens. Kill her there. Yeah, I hope to do that. <sighs> okay. Um, do we want to do... Um... Shit, I want to do Heartless, don't I? I might. Oh, no, I can't get Black Caleb, actually, because I got Pinecone Pig. Um... Hmm. Hmm. I want to do Heartless. <sighs> do I want to do Heartless now? I don't want to do Heartless now, do I? Do I? Um, so what we'll do instead is do this. Heartless now probably fucking junk me, so. I've never done Heartless before, so I, I definitely do want to do Heartless. Just not right now. But what I do need is the effigy, which I forgot to pick up like an idiot. Was it over here? Here? Oh, nope, 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 not you. Goodbye. Fucking nerd. Her, your father. Her, her. I'm going to mind control you. Her. Get fucked. Let's go back to church. I think this way is safe. I think. Poor Levi. Oh, it's not safe. <laughs> Goodbye. Hey, buddy. Just vibing. What a dude. You should not spare Henrik because he, yeah, he spoils. He poisons everyone, which is pretty, pretty funny. I think. I think that's really funny that he does that. You still have to save if she wipes you. When was the last time I saved? I think I saved before Moonless, didn't I?
Oh, I need to save before, um... I need to save before... Hang on. Martyr effigy is set in the pedestal. Carvings of an old time language, the martyr that tries to overcome its idols. Are you fucking kidding me? Look at this. Look at this. It's the fucking Demiurge wrapped around Olmir's... Oh my god. It's the Demiurge wrapped around Olmir's, um crucifix. Are you actually kidding me? God damn it. God damn it. Okay, so it was part of it was part of Ulmir's plan to have Judas um to have his Judas uh uh become sulfur or or descend with him. God fucking damn it. Gnostic bros. Gnostic bros, we won, bros. <laughs> Fucking hell. You've got to be kidding me. It's literally the Demiurge. Like, look at it. It's, it's sort of hard. I guess it's, it might be a bit hard to see. But look, it's a snake with uh, a crown wrapped around. A snake with a sun crown wrapped around the, um, uh, the, the, the crucifix. That's fucking ridiculous. Damn it, Miro. Miro, you son of a bitch, I'm calling you out right now. I'm onto you. I'm onto you. Oh, I don't want to fucking fight another one of these. You know what? You know what? You're it. You're done. You're done, you fucker. <laughs> Maybe he's not done. <laughs> the three pillars of humanity. God, hunger, and the Gork Gork 9000. <laughs> you know, I'm just, I'm just, I'm legit just going to use the rifle, actually. Don't you start running, you son of a bitch. Don't you start running. Hey, <laughs> eat shit. You're dead. Find a soul stone. Nice. Okay. 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 Now we can switch back to black. Black steel. I cannot wait to play as Tanaka and then give him black steel. It's gonna be so funny. He should have a unique line if he equips black steel. I think. You know, sometimes like if you want to equip a gun, you get a unique line that that pops up. To actually get a unique line if he equips black steel. Revenge for Levi, let's go. Dark blue root. Oh, fuck yeah. Actually, I can't do anything with dark blue roots without without the skill to actually use them, so dark blue roots aren't really a big deal. Uh which one's bubbling? Which one is bubbling? Here it is. Yep. Ow. Break it, break it, good. There we go. Man, Karen's slow. Soulstone. Levi's gonna love this. Uh oh. <laughs> A soulstone. That was Levi's favorite. Crucifix of Ormir. The statue's expression is that of vengeance and rage. So true. I'd love to see Tanaka react to Black Steel. It'd be sick. It'd be so sick. I cannot wait. Goodbye, nerds.
Um, how are we looking? How are we looking? How are we looking? Let's see our equipment, shall we? I should have some better for you now, shouldn't I? Yes, yeah, that. You can have. Um, wraiths, I think. How about you? What about you? So the goal in this fight, the goal in this fight is only to break, break the limbs, one limb of this enemy. That's it. It's all we have to do is we have to break one limb of this guy. Nothing else matters. And then the fight is just over. He, just, he runs away like a like a little bitch. He runs away like a bitch. Ah, heroin. Reminds me of my friend whom I cut down when I was mind controlled. See, look, it's this this god. It was this face, which is the demiurge, which is Satan. Oh, what did I do that for? I was skipping all this dialogue. Oh! Uh... Based? <laughs> Eat shit. Eat shit. Ow. <laughs> Get fucked. Get fucked. <laughs> Eat shit. I'm never fighting you ever again. Circle Spear, that's pretty good. Finally decorated or ornamental spear from the warrior tribes of northern Vinland. The decorations suggest highly advanced cultures, but Sergals remain largely unknown in the old continent. Okay, so yeah, there are Sergal tribes in Vinland. Rancid fights, uh, Rancid's fight theme is pretty cool. I just don't want to deal with it. I just don't like it. Technically killed Levi, but didn't get the soul. That's actually very true. Technically, I did kill Levi. Nothing nice. Fairies, fairies everywhere. Yes, there is. It was funny. Remember Miro talking about it? I think it was in Discord. It could have been in an, in an interview. But someone was like, yeah, you know people don't really like Sergal. And he's like, yeah, I know. I'm fine with Sergal being the Jar Jar Binks of, of Fear and Hunger. It's like... Uh, uh, I don't agree. <laughs> See, the thing about Jar Jar Binks is... Nobody liked him. <laughs> Nobody was fine with him being in there. You know, at the end of the day, it's Miro's game. He can do what he wants with it. <laughs> Circle Spear is reference to Neko the Circle. You should be covered the OG Fear and Hunger and Termina. Um, yes, that is true. Oh, these guys fucking suck too, actually. Um, so, I'm not going to trench gun these guys, actually. Like a coin, nice. Jar Jar Binks, yeah. From, um, oh, what, what? It was the, the Star Wars prequel movies, wasn't it? Jar Jar Binks. I don't know if he showed up, like, which one's specific. I, I never saw all of them. I only saw, like, the first one. And I was like, that's enough. That's enough. Um. But yeah, he was pretty bad.
Have I already killed Pav? Double heads, bear trap, let's go. Let's go. So if it kills a Bobby and it's a short boss fight, so even if you don't like him, it's not too bad. But with Jada, yeah, it's, well, um, Sergal was a lot worse before. You had to get him down to a certain amount of health before he'd fuck off. Now it's just, you had to break a limb. But before it was a lot worse. And it was actually a pretty tough fight. You could cheese it still. You can cheese every fight in this game, right? But, still. Trap, nice. Not sure if it was this playthrough, but the last YouTube stream did get have killed. Oh yes, yes, because Karen has that unique scene. Right, 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 right. I forgot about that. Lash. Yum yum yum. Yes. So this is Donovan's house, right? I'm gonna take this gun off before I accidentally fucking discharge. So this is Donovan's house, right? Donovan Hugo, a.k.a. Father Hugo, a.k.a. the priest that Samari killed. I think it is. One of the priests. This is a replica of the room in, in Mahab where um, you can meet the old gods. This, is, this, this engraving is a replica. Um... And there's notes everywhere. The carvings depict people joint together under the sun. There are erratic scribblings on the paper. The replica is near perfect. The sun. The sulfur sun's appearance in appears in the text frequently, but I do not think that's the sun referred in the carvings. A sun that blazes from underground doesn't match with the passages. Under one sun, people finally join together in the promised land. The king? In my dreams, I've seen the towers, the hollow husks of the endless city, those who wait patiently for their king to return. It is not the domain of the new gods. The book is the key. I've seen the macabre murals of the ancient city. I've lost myself in the endless maze of its lone alleyways. No, it's still not the same. Something is wrong with the carvings. I need to get all the details. Testique table. Done. Wall of enlightenment. In progress. It is not the domain of humans. It's not the domain of the gods, of the new gods. It's not the domain of humans. At least it didn't used to be. Until the new gods took over Mahab. Sacrificial circle? Done. The city haunts my waking hours. Relentlessly. Endlessly. After a long night, the dawn finally arrives. Inviting us to the promised land. Return of the king. Time is running out. I need the book. He's talking about passages of Mahav here. I need to leave soon before it's too late. I need to get my hands on another book of its kind. It's the only way. I can't create a perfect replica without travelling there again. Too late. I saw the dream. Do those people come back from the dungeon alive? They did, yes. Okay, so why is he hoarding blank scrolls? They seem useless even outside of Termina Festival. In the first game, if you have a blank scroll and a quill, I think it is. I don't remember if you need like ink or something. You can write on the scroll. You can write, oh lord, give something. Oh lord, teach a specific spell. And all mere will give you something. Um, so to have somebody with like this many blank scrolls means they were trying to summon a lot of stuff. Whether or not it worked is another story, but, but also here's the coolest thing, right? Check this out. 
The floor tiles feel loose here. Should we investigate it? Nah, we'll leave it. You're not even sure what you're looking at. Yeah, let's investigate it. There was a book buried here. You find the Skin Bible of Anushka, unedited. Ooh. Did I show this stuff last time? I think I showed this off the stream last time. Anyway, here is... We'll go through it. We'll go through it. The, the edited version. Actually, no, I did do this last time. We don't need to do this again. But the unedited version has... Vanushka's true face is that of a pine cone. Kind of weird. Oh, Lord, give Levi. No, he's gone. Sorry. But yeah, the, the unedited version shows that um, Vanushka's dead, baby. Vanushka's dead. Let's see what happens if we go to the tower now, now that, uh, now that Pav's dead. Syringe of heroin. There we go. We got heroin. Are you actually kidding me? Statue of a man wrapped under a giant snake. God damn it. The expression of the man's face is that of anguish. Yeah, that's all me being choked out by the demiurge. Something about the tower in front of you feels wrong. Your primal instincts tell you to run away. Is there any, like, scene here now? No, doesn't look like it. Okay. Pinecone means dead? Uh, no, but the book says that, that, um, Vunishka's dead. Nature is dead, and we killed it. Um, what am I doing now? What am I doing now? Um, 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 um. Museum, right. Hey. Touch the gate. No, we're not touching the gate. We're not doing that. Okay, I'm just going to do a bit of a scab grab, then then go back and save, then then carrot. What's this say? Great debate of preheval held in June 1919 at the Grand Palace of Preheval in Bohemia by two mourning sides of the Great War. Aww. Nice. Now back here. Let's go to the shop, shall we? No, 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 no. Don't think so. <laughs> Old Vinland blended whiskey. Nice. Let's go. I don't want to fight these guys. Come on. Come on. I don't want to fight you. Yeah, logic ending. Day one logic. I haven't done day one logic before, so. Let's go to the shop first. Pick up a goodie. <laughs> hey, buddy. Waiting for a miracle? Well, keep waiting. What do you want, stranger? 99 shillings. Let's go. Give me... Hard and hot. Goodbye. Nice. Very nice. Nice. Final boss in masochism mode is looking pretty biblical angeled with boss looking like an often angel. Oh, are you talking about rare? 
That's, um, yeah, yeah, you can do that on any difficulty. He's the, in quotation marks, default boss of the game. If you listen to what, um, Pakeli tells you to do, then you fight rare. If you do what Pakeli tells you to do, but efficiently, then you don't. And that's a different ending. If you ignore all that shit and turn on logic, then that's a, that's the third ending. Logic ending. <laughs> I better starting to feel hungry. Well, you can keep waiting, babe. Yeah, the fight against Rare is pretty cool. Ah! Jesus. <laughs> Why does that always get me? Find a green herb, vegetable pie, run meat, let's go. Should I save first? I think I might save first. Oh, I, I didn't do any of my skills, did I? Whoops. Completely forgot about that. Could have Donovan's house. We're saving at Donovan's house anyway, so. All of Rare's servants are liars. Um, I don't know if they're liars, but they're definitely tricksters. The, the deals that they do are definitely in their favor. I mean, does Pocket Cat lie? I don't think he out outright lies to you. I wonder how Orange will mix the endings for some sort of the S, like a Bellas. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see what the S endings are. I don't want to kill anyone. Can I still play? Uh, yeah, I think I think you actually can beat the game without killing any other contestant. Um, let me think. Yeah, I think you can beat Logic Ending without killing any other contestant. You will have to kill enemies, but I, I think you can get away with not killing any contestants, so. So Termina is a rare thing, but a bunch of other entities crashed the party. Yeah. The festival of Termina is basically rare, just like seeing something on Earth and going, hey, that's cool, and going in for a closer look, and then everything in his radius going crazy. And the sulfur cultists were like, hey, we can use this. All 13 can be saved, just not in the first day. Well, oh, I'm going to sneeze. One sec. Yeah, one big notice, me senpai. Um, a contestant counts as saved if you finish the game with them still alive before they transform. Which you can definitely do. Um, you can't save everybody. If you do logic ending, um, you die. Well, you don't come back at least. Um, and it's the complete opposite when you do... Uh, Pakeli ending. Any of the Pakeli endings. It's, um, you survive, nobody else does. <laughs> you can actually escape Termini without getting, killing anyone. You'll either get Machine God ending or ending B. No, you can't get ending B. You need to kill people to get into the tower. Everyone needs to die for ending B. Ending B and C are tower endings. They're the Battle Royale endings. Ending A is the, the logic ending. Tamina Festival is just rare going. He is, exactly. <laughs> you know what? That's actually funny. Yeah, there is one ending where nobody leaves. One ending where you leave, and then one ending where everybody else leaves. <laughs> How long do we have? 17 minutes. Okay. Okay. Will I even be able to? Do I have a book of enlightenment, actually? Do I have a book of enlightenment? Oh, I do have one. Excellent. Good, good, good. Um, let's... You text it. 19. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. So I want... What spells do I want? What spells do I want? I want... Reset Reap is really nice. I want Pyromancy Trick. Hmm... Agility plus one, yes. Do we get agility plus one? We'll be Abella. Persuade, lockpicking. Yes, very useful to get lockpicking right at the end, isn't it? 
Diplomacy, very nice. Okay. Rot, agility, mastery over vermin, flesh puppetry. Um, Susan. Mastery over vermin is not a big deal this late in the game, is it? No. Um, Susan and mischief. Oh, do I need one more to get mischief? But it's, it's capped though. Maybe I need mastery as well. There we go. I do think ending A counts as transformed, but not killed. Moonscorch is alive. Oh, does it? I thought if they transformed, that was that was done. Pacifist Termina Festival. Step one, get a ghoul who's already dead. Get him to kill people for you. And have a clean conscience as you beat a woman in a wheelchair to death. <laughs> so the rare fight is Traces of Rare. It's, yes, uh, Pakeli says that it is. Whether Pakeli is, is lying to us or not is hard to know, is the thing. Because Pakeli, minutes before that, Pakeli is like, yeah, I'm a liar. And then he's like, actually, no, Rare is gone. So it's like, uh, Rare is probably gone because all the other old gods are fucked off. So he's probably not there, but it's hard to tell. I don't know how to get logic ending. Should I just wait for everyone to turn Moonscorch? No, no, you don't need to... To get logic ending, you don't need anybody to moon scorch. You just need to activate the bunkers. Here, I'll show you. So you see, can you see my mouse? Yeah. So you see these markings on the map. When you go to this place, preheval bop, and you enter the secret cellar, you'll find a map down there. And if you go to these places, you'll find three bunkers. Well, in the train station one, it's in the sewers. You'll go down there and you'll get the bunker. If you go down there and you activate the... Um, you know at, in the first bunker how right down the bottom there's that computer terminal with all the cables coming out of it? If you go down there and you turn all of those three on, then you go to the museum. Underneath the museum, there's a big white bunker. I think it's, I think it's literally called the white bunker. Um, and then you, you, you'll find logic in there and you can do the logic ending. So. Mastery over vermin is like mastery over insects from the OG game. You get pretty nice things. Like, yeah, that's true. I just don't feel like running around talking to rats for a while is the thing. Um, okay. What other skills can I even get? Bury the trauma on guard or to charge. On guard will actually be really useful. Bury the trauma is, again, not super useful this late, but... Blood Sacrifice and Masturbation. Do I want these? I might as well get these, hey. Now, do I want Moth Swarm or Red Arc? No. Lunar Meteorite? Do I want Lunar Meteorite? Nah. Um, hmm. <laughs> Root Set Reap, Pyromancy Trick... I kind of do want necromancy, don't I? I kind of do. I was gonna, I was gonna sacrifice Levi so I can get necromancy, but now I can't. So, <laughs> well, I've killed like nobody in this playthrough. This is crazy. What's this? Flesh puppetry. Uh, eh, that's a flesh puppetry is okay, just constant damage, but it's like it just drains mind like no tomorrow. You know what? I'll get it. I'll get it. Because that'll actually be useful against logic. Just for the nice, just constant damage. Um, auto charge, don't care. Moth swarm, don't care. Red arc is nice, but I don't care. I'm going to stack all these on Karen. Except magic attack. Doesn't... Well, I'm going to be using spells, aren't I? So yeah, that'd be nice. Okay. And then we might go and get some Grogoroth, some groggy stuff. Yeah, sick. Okay. Okie dokie. Um, oh, let's let's top everyone up, hey? No healing. Beer! You're full, you're full, you're full. Um, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll have some, we'll have a little bit of food. Maybe a little bit of food. Uh, 
some gross fucking moldy bread. And mushroom stew. Mm, maybe I should save my mushroom stews, guys. I don't think I'm going to have enough. Um, You know what? I'm just going to craft some more. There we go. Do you guys think I have enough mushroom stew yet? I have 18. Is that going to be enough for endgame? I think I'm going for the endgame mushroom stew exploit. I don't know if I'm going to have enough. In the train, I'm pretty sure you can kill Marco. Oh, maybe I could go back and do that. You did get Levi Soul for betraying him if you can get buried the trauma. No, no. Um, Levi has gun skills. That's Pav. I'll show you. So these are Levi's skills. These ones, gun proficiency, gunslinger, executioner, and marksmanship. These ones are Pav's. Bury the trauma, on guard, and order charge. Checker skills are so cool. I wish you could play as him. Oh, hopefully. That, oh, the, the plan is to add all the all the characters playable at some point. So hopefully we'll get Tanaka at some point. Fingers crossed. Do, 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 do. Have 11. You need 20. Shit. I want to go farm mushrooms somewhere. Keep contestants at the train, but others will bind you with rope and you'll basically be forced to stay in the train for the rest of the Yeah. Yeah. Um, it depends who's there. Um, Dan, Karen, Abella, Marco, all of those ones will tie you up. If they're not in your party when you kill somebody, if they're resting at the train when you kill somebody at the train, so you can apparently you can have them in your party as if you kill somebody and it's fine. That just won't fight them. So if it's just Marco there, then you can you can do that. What I might do is okay. So the plan is I do want to fight Heartless. Not not right now because we're almost done. Um, I do want to fight Heartless. Um. And, 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 I want to fight Heartless. Um, and I want to get into the white bunker. Um, and I want to go check out if Henrik and stuff is still alive. Let's go check out if Henrik and stuff is still alive before I say it first, actually. Henrik may not have appeared yet. If he has appeared, I want to kill him. So like collecting souls of my victims. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even if you get tied up, you still get their soul and stuff. So, but then you then you wake up on day three night and it's like, oh shit. <laughs> Poor Abella, missing her arm. Rip, rip. Nerf Tanaka. Yeah, Tanaka's too strong. Oh, go. He's grown too powerful. Oh, no. <laughs> Doing Bobby solo fucking sucks. They're so bad. Just a flesh wound. It is just a flesh wound. Can you imagine having your arm cut off? That would suck so much. And, like, physically seeing it there, just apart from you, I can't imagine how, like, bizarre that would be. There's this story online where this guy had his... And there's pictures for all of this as well, so it's all it's all legit, right? This guy had his leg removed and amputated because he had a motorcycle accident. And he had, 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 had to get his leg amputated. And he goes... I've, I've told this story before. Um, and he goes... He goes to the doctor, like, can I keep it? And the doctor's like, uh... Sure. And... He calls up his friends and he's like, do you guys want to try human flesh? See what it tastes like? Because it's my leg. It got amputated, you know, because of something else out of my control, but we could, we could eat it. And they're like, uh, okay. So his friends came around and they cooked up little bits of the meat. He had a, he had a friend who was a chef and they cooked it up 
and they ate, they like ate tacos made out of this guy's fucking leg. And it's like, oh my god. No, Henrik's not here. Day one morning. A little, I guess a little bit of time needs to pass first. Is Marinara here? Marinara is not here. I heard that story before. I found it from a Justin Wang video. Yeah. No, it's not illegal. Um, it depends on which state in America, but in general, the act of cannibalism itself is not illegal. Um, the only issue is sourcing the meat. You can't sell or buy human flesh for consumption. Um, and you're not allowed to amputate stuff for no reason. So usually it's really difficult to actually just get it in the first place. But if you can get it, like in this situation where it's his own leg cut off and you're, you're allowed to have your own body parts back, um, yeah, you're, you're allowed to eat it. What else do you do with a human leg? Not like put it back on. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently there is some religions where they need to be buried as a full body. Um, so, so, um, hospitals have to give you your limbs back. Any body parts that get cut out, they have to give them back if you say it's for religious reasons. And most will just say, yeah, just take it, whatever, who cares? Because they just, they just have to dispose of it anyway. Like, they just burn it. So it's not really a big deal if you take it. Did it taste good? Um, they said it wasn't that bad. If I recall correctly. Say so most religions try to permit that. Tries to encourage whole body whole body being buried yeah but some are like some are like no no you have to do this you have to be buried all together or you don't get into you, you can't get resurrected or some yeah, some i don't know i don't know the specifics um but yeah so okay okay have I gone up here before? I have. Okay, let's get back to Donovan's house and save. Let's get back there. It's probably tough. Yeah, it was it was already cut up into really small pieces though. Um so it would it wasn't like a, a whole chunk of flesh or anything. Body bag. I have a bunch of contestant heads. Oh, we should we could go see Pocket Cat and, and pick up a book from him actually. I wouldn't mind some recipe books. Egyptian mythos has that sort of idea. Each each part missing is a part you don't have in the in the afterlife. Oh, and that's why they've got those like uh canopic jars and stuff, right? Or is is it nopic or canopic? Or am I just completely wrong entirely? Welcome to YouTube chat. <laughs> it's for religious reasons. That only applies to your own body parts. <laughs> You're right, canopic? Okay, cool. Of course I'm right, I'm always right. <laughs> More they do, always right. Okay, so in a couple of minutes, we're going to end the stream. Um, but stick around, okay? Stick around, don't leave just yet. Whenever you say the words, the stream is ending on stream, people start leaving, just instantly. This, this is what people do. So I'm calling out all the people who are going to leave, right? I'm, I'm talking to you directly. Stick around. Because at the end of the stream, we're going to be doing a YouTube raid into my new video. And then after that, we're going to be doing something else. We're in the Discord. And on the YouTube video too, there's going to be live chat as well. So you guys can chat together while you're watching it. So, um, so stick around for that. Um... This is the right situation, right? Uh, fear and hunger. Yep. Okay. Let's save.
Um, we'll see. If you look at the... There should be a pinned comment at the top of the chat. Um... Live chat will be on the video itself in YouTube. Like, like exactly the same as this chat, right? It'll be on the side there. Um, and after the video on Discord, we'll be doing a movie night and we're watching Terrifier 2. So make sure to join the Discord. Is it, It's showing up for you guys, right? The, the pinned comment's still there. I don't know if pinned comments only appear if you're in chat when it's pinned. So I'd, <laughs> YouTube chat is a little bit alien to me. Sorry. <laughs> Um, yeah, so that's really, really soon. We got like, hang on, let me see. How long do we have? 60 seconds, guys, 60 seconds. Um, I think what I do is I end stream and then it raids into where we're going. So we'll, we'll see. <laughs> it might break. Um, if it does break, here is, here is, the, here is the direct link. If it breaks, um, <laughs> I don't, I don't know how to do this. <laughs> Oh, is it? It's beginning shortly. One more question? Yes, go ahead. Go ahead. Did I save? I saved. Okay, good. Is Pocket Cat not a servant of the moon? He might. I. He probably is, but he might not be, because how Sulfur has taken over a lot of the moon stuff, and Rare isn't here anymore. Um, but, uh, I think that's some deep cut stuff. <laughs> Okay, so thank you guys very, very, very much for coming in. Um, I hope you enjoyed YouTube stream. Make sure to follow me on Twitter. Let me get my Twitter. Make sure to join the Discord so we can go watch Terrifier in a minute. And ba -ba 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 -ba. there's my Twitter. I post unhinged shit on Twitter, so make sure to follow me. Um, yes, and stick around. Watch the video. It's beginning shortly. I don't know why it hasn't started yet. Anyway, we'll end stream and we'll go in there. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.